What is up, my crunky creepers? And uh, <laughs> I was there, there was an immediate oh. like disappointment. I didn't oh. say anything. Oh, just so you know, I laughed. Oh, I no, wasn't. thank you, Grizz. I appreciate that. <laughs> Some people might be listening to this publicly, others on Patreon. This is going to be the only episode public because I want to trap and reel you into patreon.com slash JRWI show like a spider. And I just want to say... Thank you, guys, uh, all of our patrons, for hitting a pretty lofty patron goal of, I believe it was, what, 3,000? 3,500. 3, yeah. yeah. God damn. Um, and when we reached 3,500 patrons, we said that we were going to play a new system that was not Dungeons & Dragons, and we let you guys vote on it, and there were some pretty kooky, crazy ones in there, but you guys ended up going with Call of Cthulhu, which is like a horror spooky system. Yeah, so over the past yeah, few you're, weeks... Yeah. You're, you're, over the past... <laughs> Jesus. Over the past few weeks, me and the me and the boys have been cooking up this campaign, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm very nervous. I haven't DM'd in a while, but I'm excited to run this. Um Oh god. Anyway, anyway, guys, I well, I need guys, can you give me some reassuring words? I'm pretty nervous, guys. I wrote yeah, all this you, stuff you, out. I don't so know fucking, anymore. About you're this. so fucking cool and awesome and you're gonna rock it and we're gonna oh, thank be, you, man. be so oh, thank scared, you. dude. Yeah, it'll oh. probably be alright. Okay, fuck you. So, uh, <laughs> Call of Cthulhu's, uh, uh, for those that don't know, very, very different than Dungeons and Dragons. The people that these guys are playing are just that, people, and they are going to be in way over their head with all this spooky dooky stuff. So I I'll explain the mechanics and we'll explain the mechanics as they come up. Um, but for now, just try and enjoy the ride. You're <laughs> okay, hurt. are you guys ready? Yeah. Very. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you gonna okay. invent auto tune? That would actually go so hard. Yeah. No. Feel, by the way, guys, feel free to fuck the timeline as much as you want. Uh, when was auto tune invented? I ask. It was not invented, invented in, in 1996, the 80s. baby. What year is it? Ten years early, dude. We're gonna fast forward at the end of the campaign. We're gonna have freaking spaceships by 2010 because of you. <laughs> oh, let's go. Auto tune was invented ten years earlier. Now we we explore the galaxy. Welcome to Blood in the Bayou, Episode 1, Homecoming. The year is 1984, and the sleepy bayou town of Galloway, Louisiana, had never been quieter save for the rhythmic drizzle of rain laying upon it today. But little did Galloway know, this was the town's final moment of respite before the coming storm. Because the boys were back in town. Let's cut over and meet our characters one by one as they are getting ready to return to the town of Galloway for the first time in a long time, each for their own reasons, but also to finish the Dungeons and Dragons campaign they left hanging in high school. So let's start with Roland Deep. Roland, how are you getting ready for this awesome trip back home? Oh wait, so wait, am I am I sh in Chicago right now? Or yeah, like, you're am not I on the you're way? not there yet. So we're basically okay. this is you before you're leaving, and then we're gonna see how you travel there. Yeah, so uh, Roland, you see Roland, he's uh, he's all dressed up still in his in his sort of beige suit with a blue tie uh, and white undershirt on it. Um, he's got like this, this sort of scruffy beard going on and uh, slicked back hair, and he's staring down at this at this briefcase full of clothes, and he's like, "What do I need this? I don't. I mean, it's." Shit, I'm gonna be. He just grabs his fucking briefcase and starts running and then gets into his car. And we just see him like zoom in down the highway, 20 over in the left lane. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no regard for his safety or others because his, his plane's about to take off. Of course, a cop, uh, uh, a cop tries to pull him over, sees that it's Roland, and just waves and lets him go. <laughs> he turns around, gives oh, a bright Roland. smile, and there's a little, and a thumbs up, and, you know, there's that little twinkle in his smile. Everybody loves him. <laughs> okay. There's a terrible accident on the freeway the day before you all meet. <laughs> and as he, he uh, gets on his plane, and we see the plane flies south in front of the sun, and we transition to Kian. 
Kian, how are you getting ready for this trip? What are you doing and how are you getting to Galloway? Okay, so you want me to describe my whole character now? Uh, it's up to you. All right. Can I describe the outfit I'm wearing when I leave and then describe Absolutely. the outfit I'm wearing when I get there? Because it's going <laughs> to yeah, change for sure. All right. Okay. Because this is how Kian wakes up about 48 hours before getting to Galloway. All right. <laughs> I'm laying on this circular, like heart shaped bed in this dim lit room. I have no shirt on, but just a scarf and this sort of like uh, uh, fur, like really puffy like lion's fur mane of a like a like a coat around me i'm also surrounded by babes and i'm wearing like <laughs> leather <laughs> like black leather pants and this big like ostentatious fucking belt buckle and some kind of like cowboy hat and sunglasses and i'm just like groggily wake up and like sit up and just like push the babes off me and i'm like carrying <laughs> i like wake up holding you know like <laughs> some fucking alcohol already and i just take a swig i look at my watch see what time it is and then i just swig again and then throw the alcohol somewhere and i start walking i'm still wearing my boots which are like really fucking sparkly and high heeled and i'm just like walking like stumbling through this dark room and then you see uh it like smash cuts and i'm like walking out of this big skyscraper building in the middle of Hollywood and then That's I get awesome. to my uh, red painted DMC DeLorean I swing the fucking butterfly door up slam that shit and then you hear as I like speed off and I'm heading to Galloway baby my license plate <laughs> says fucking hard all right <laughs> uh, that's how i'm getting to galloway holy shit, holy shit. i think i'll change uh, every, in my car every on the babe way is piled up at the window and size in unison <laughs> as you cruise off towards galloway they cheer they cheer yeah oh yeah they, they just applaud you <laughs> yeah they're like screaming bro everyone's screaming as i drive away that's awesome uh you guys see another accident happen on the freeway <laughs> <laughs> We move up into the sky after seeing Kian fly off in his uh, uh, rock hard car. And we look down through a curtain of these thick swampy trees. We keep panning down. What is Timothy up to? So panning through these trees, you can see the foliage start to be enveloped in this smoke, almost completely hiding all of it. As we move through the foliage, we poke out into an attic bedroom. And these leaves seem to look a little different from your average foliage. And the first thing you see are the glasses reflecting the smoke and the view of an awesome two foot tall marijuana plant. <laughs> and as I'm staring at this, I take off the glasses. You can see the brown parted hair resting atop my aged face. And I pull a little joint up to my mouth and <sighs> awesome. <sighs> Pulling out, you can see Timothy Rand, who just goes by Rand, standing at 5'11". And just like he fails to meet six foot, he fails to meet pretty much everything else in his life. Ooh. Ooh. There's definitely an age to his face, and he's still wearing that same Led Zeppelin t-shirt he would have been wearing in high school. He keeps that same jean jacket on with a pair of jeans and an old worn pair of brown boots. And as he's inspecting these plants, he kind of, to get ready, sits back onto this old greasy purple beanbag chair. Jesus. <sighs> All right. And then he puts the glasses back on <laughs> and closes his eyes for a little nap. Yeah. And as you go to close your eyes, you hear a knock on your door. <sniffs> oh, Mom. Timothy, <laughs> you know, aren't, you, aren't your nice friends coming over today? Um, How are they getting into town? Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. I think I was supposed to go pick them up. Timothy, did a skunk, skunk shit out uh, no, there? What, no, what's going enough. on in there? I'm just like starting to put it out into an ashtray that's full and spilling off into this coffee table. And as I'm doing that, it kind of spills off. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, I didn't I'll be on a second. stinker. I'll be on a second. Don't worry about it. All ah, right. Fuck. I can't wait to meet that key in again. <laughs> mom. <laughs> she Is your, 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 mom, your mom's hot, right? Mm, she's she old. doesn't open the door. You don't she's, know. Dramatic. It's called dramatic old. damage. Okay, <laughs> dude. Does it matter? You know if she's old, man. I think. It's I think the one season. thing that me and Grizzly both failed to mention is we're both 
Well, he's 29 or 33 now. I forget if you changed that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to describe what my character looks like as soon as I right, reply. Right, I okay. meet up with uh, t- uh, 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 Rand. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it out then, then. Rand, I would assume you know about these guys uh, coming here and how they're getting here. So it's kind of up to you, like always, to put the gang together. All right, well, I guess I'm going to grab my jacket, make sure it's on, get my sunglasses, adjust them just right, head out the door. We're smash cutting to all these different places. I'm running down through the kitchen. I grab an orange. I try to bite it, and I realize it has the peel on it, so I I, I throw <laughs> it into the neighbor's yard. Just an old man mowing his lawn, and I, I flip him the bird. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> I slide across the, the hood of my old broken down station wagon. Get in and I'm trying to start it up. <laughs> Nothing. Can you Shit. go ahead? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's make the first roll of the game here. Let's go. Timothy, go ahead and roll me a luck check like you do every morning to see if the car starts. (laughs) Okay. And just so you guys listening to this know, the way Call of Cthulhu works is these guys all have basically stats from zero to 100 in every skill, including luck. And if they roll below that skill, they succeed. And if they roll really below that skill, they succeed a lot. And, you know, one is like a crit. So you want to roll low instead of high. It's not like D&D. Yeah, so my luck is a 30. Mm -hmm. I've rolled a 34. Okay, you hear that baby purr for just a second, and then immediately smoke starts bursting out of the hood. And that's where I pull up. (laughs) Can I do that? Yes, absolutely. All right. (laughs) No, can we do one more thing? You you just, you follow the smoke. (laughs) What are you doing? I was going to I was going to call Key. Oh okay. Yeah, all right. I want to all right, then uh the, the day before? Yeah, like probably like the day before uh, like probably like a few hours before you uh you arrive. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, That's your shit. ringtone. Oh, um uh, shit. Wait. Uh we are, <laughs> were we supposed to have ringtones? Fuck. Uh Yeah, surely you have uh, a ringtone. Make it up right? now. Make it up now. Make it up. Make it up. My, I- iconic. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Let me just make sure it's in the right year. Uh uh, wait, I don't know how to look anything up. Okay, fine. I don't know if it's the right year or not. It's probably some Van Halen song. It's probably Jump, okay? So you're... Th- okay. Th- 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 well, jump! Th- but it's in like... It's like it's like an 8-bit, like with a fucking like... Yeah. Psych, uh, like, I don't even know. I like recorded it's it. It's so fucking compressed. You like can barely... You just... <laughs> I like... Dude, I like let go of the steering wheel. I'm like looking for my phone, which probably fell like in one of the seats. And I'm just like steering with my knee, like looking back up. It's like really fucking bad. Anyways, I answer. You hear me take this drag of a cigarette while I'm driving. You can hear the windows now. Hey. Uh, I mean, hey, what's up, Kian. dude? How's it going, man? Been, been hey, a bit. man. What's my favorite, dude? Yeah, so uh, I've been at the airport for two and a half hours now. Um, and uh, Rand has not picked me up. All uh, right, I'll swing by and get you. <laughs> Fam? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> He had invented the slang fam. Yeah, bro. Of course he did. He's the coolest guy in the yeah, world. Yeah, listen, I would appreciate that. I just, I can't afford a rental car right of now. Of course, of course, dude. I'm on the way. All right. Uh, okay. Hey, watch where you're fucking going, bro. All right, see you soon. Click. Okay, what's the AT? <laughs> I pull up. <laughs> oh, Kian, the way you drive is so dreamy. I forgive that you left me in your car all night. What? <laughs> uh, who is that? <laughs> it's, what it's, it's, one of the babes. You look back and there's just like a, there's another babe getting out. Oh, so many I, babes. Uh, I, yeah, I pull over by like, uh, like, like a building, like a corner basically. And I open yeah. the door and I just like shove them all out. All right. This is a good time. See you later. They Where like, am I? They're like still drunk. <laughs> We're like halfway across oh the state. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See ya. Yeah. You, you drive up, you pick up Roland at the airport with no issue and you guys both pull up to Rand's house. All right. I skirt in, roll down the window uh, and I take that drag and, uh, and I say, get in loser. <laughs> What's up, dude? Come on. Roland is just kind of awkwardly sitting in, in the uh, shotgun, you know. You just see smoke coming out from the front of this uh, of this station wagon. And you assume it's broken down or something, and you just hear what? And the, the it slams down, and you can see the the joint in his mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey guys, amigo! He kind of tosses it over into the neighbor's yard. 
he runs over <laughs> to the car. Fucking stop it! Yeah, it, right? it's like this really beautiful DeLorean, bro. Like, it's fucking... Oh, my God. If you're a car, dude, you'd be She's going beautiful. crazy. She purrs. I, he puts his head to the to the hood. Hey, hey, she hey. Fucks. Whoa, dude, she's taken, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And she's loyal. Oh, my God, she... it's so good to see you. I pet the steering wheel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we kicking it here, bro? Your house, y'all. Uh, is your mom home? <laughs> no, no, we're going to head over to the uh, store. I got to go pick a couple of things up. All right, then, doofus, get in. Get in hey, then. Timothy, who's that out there? Switch it to Led Zeppelin. Nobody, Mom. Hey, Mrs. Red. <laughs> <laughs> Go drive. <laughs> oh, <I'm> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gang's back together. I was just going to pick you up from the airport. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know how you got here so fast. Oh, yeah. I just, I landed four hours ago. What? Oh, the time zones. You're whatever, probably. Yeah. <laughs> sure, Red. <laughs> you know what they say, man? If you go to the speed limit, you're a pussy. And I ain't one of those. I. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed okay, to take me 48 so... hours to get here, but I made it in 12. Right on. Hey, you guys want to talk? <laughs> Fuck oh, yeah, no. I do. Nah, you guys... I, I don't smoke. Yo, what? open up the glove compartment, bro. Got some shrooms in there for you. Jesus Straight Christ. out of Hollywood, bro. <laughs> Took those with Led Zeppelin. I point out his t-shirt. <laughs> So, like, <laughs> this right. You get in your car and you go speeding off four times over the speed limit while smoking weed <laughs> and someone is doing shrooms and shotgun. Does that sound no, right? No, I'm not speeding okay, so, anymore. I just put that, make that clear. <laughs> but the um, other stuff, yes. Tons of drugs. Guys, just some lawyerly advice. Uh, make sure that when the police arrest you, you don't say anything. You ask, you lawyer up, you ask, ask for me. Roman, just live a little already what are you what are you chicken come on have a shroom no i'm not going to have a shroom you know you want it that's that is reason enough for me to be debarred <laughs> hey man all right this whole nerd stuff has got to go okay <laughs> all the all the book stuff how about you leave that upstate take a shroom friend we are 33 years oh, old. Oh, here comes the plane. <laughs> oh, we are in the 80s. I'm like poking it at his mouth. <laughs> no, you get it in my mouth. I, I open my mouth to say something. You get it in my mouth. Absolutely. Correct. Hey, we go. <laughs> now it's a party. Hey, hey dude, oh, dude, dude, I'm still only 27, all right? I'm trying to age me up like yeah. that. You're 27? Yeah, and then you look at him and you realize that, oh my god, he's hot. Um, let me, I want to explain, I want to show you guys the art that I got and explain what I look like at the moment before we get to the That's store. That's awesome. Okay, so you guys, uh, Kian, uh, I'll try and go as fast as possible. He's actually 32, he will not admit it, and he, he is <laughs> dressed, okay, I'll start with the top, alright? He's he, Of course, he's got that youthful, pretty boy, small, soft, defined, very cherub face, you know, he's got the baby face, he looks like an actor. He's got the big, bright, turquoise, colored eyes. Uh, you see that he's actually, like, in the seat, in the passenger seat next to you is his guitar, which is that, uh, like, like very classic, like, V-shaped, white guitar. I love that so much. He wears like kind of like red eyeliner, but it's subtle, so you can't really see it behind his beautiful eyelashes because he's so fucking beautiful. <laughs> he has that like platinum blonde, shoulder length, like wavy hair with the bangs that you see in like the 80s and stuff. Multiple piercings. He's got like this dangling red feather earring, uh, and the other uh, the other ear is just kind of like a like a like a rose wrapped around it. He's got <laughs> okay now for the clothes. He's not wearing a shirt. Instead, he's wearing this, like, red and, and black striped snake skin vest. It's very sparkly and shiny. And he's uh, and over that, it's just like this chiffon kind of uh, cloth, white leopard patterned flowy Komodo. And under that, of course, you'd see his, uh, his very, the, the butterfly tattoo he got on his chest when he was with you guys when he was, like, 17. And then next to those are, like, some snakes. And then he's wearing... On his pants, it's like these very, like the fucking flowy, like almost like Del Sol yoga pants where it's like thin at the waist or, or the thighs and like fans out towards the ankles. And it's got this like funky pattern on it. Those are black. And he's got these black wrapped shoes up. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm going to show you the art now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see it. Awesome. <laughs> I just want to explain it for everyone who doesn't see the art. As of right now, I want to say I'm totally imagining Sebastian Bach from Skid Row. 
I don't know who that is, but I totally forgot to mention the tattoos on the hands and the, the layered <laughs> necklaces. Oh, dude, you're actually so close. Dude, you're so close. Here you go. Here's my character. <laughs> oh my god, I'm oh my so close. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, he is uh he is definitely a rock star through and through. Looks the exact same as when you was when he left ten years ago. Except he's rich. The exact same. <laughs> <laughs> what is Roland wearing now that we see Kian? He'd still be wearing that same beige suit right now. He hasn't had a chance to change out because he's been in a car and airplane all day. <laughs> That's fair. And now you are in a car and you just took <laughs> shrooms. Yep. So I need, I guess, everyone to make a con roll. Rand, what if... Oh, I'm not. Have? I'm not taking the shrooms, and I have a uh, resistance to weed. So you can't just say shit. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you have resistance to weed. Okay, if you can actually, if you can explain why you have resistance, if anyone should have resistance to weed, I would say it's Rand. Tolerance. I mean, yeah. Who do you think got him into it? Sixty-four for my con roll, which is under my seventy, so I'll pass. I guess. Okay, nice. I want to fail though. Still, does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, I know. I get you. So I got a hard success, which means I rolled an 18. Nice. And the number for that was 27. I don't know if you explained hard and extreme successes, but... Uh, yeah, so basically just the way that works is that stat they have is split down further. So the lower you roll, basically the harder the success is, depending on how good your stat is. So a hard success is better than a normal success. An extreme success is better than a hard success. And a crit is the best one. And I just hard success to get high. I just extreme success to these shrooms. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Holy fuck. Okay. We're made for this. We're definitely not made for whatever horror you have planned. No, this is this is awesome. Well, who knows if I'm going to... I might not even need to do it. You guys might just trip balls later. Um, But honestly, you handle it so well. Rand... You're on a great trip, bro. You're so happy your yeah. friends are back. You start giggling. Things and, are uh, moving. You can describe what basically happens. It's a, it's just a nice, it's a nice time. You realize that most of the shrooms in there are just shiitake and mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> what a good way to pivot from just roll if it says drugs are good. So, <laughs> well, okay, guys, this is the '80s. I mean, like people were doing coke. Like, like, man, there's gonna be drugs, bro. I mean, it I'm a was rock star. snowing in the '80s. At least we're not <laughs> snorting anything. Yeah, All right, dude. Yeah, I mean, so, like, I haven't pulled um, it out yet, but I might. <laughs> oh, we don't actually I condone might. drug usage, but this is the '80s. All right, and there's some fucking drugs. Hey, man, when in the 80s, Rand is handling it super well. Kian, you are, do you do weed or, or shrooms? Which drugs did you do? Oh, dude, I'm just smoking the, the doobie he sent to me, bro. You're chilling, man. You feel calm as ever. I'm driving with my fucking feet, bro, like I'm on it. <laughs> and, <laughs> nice. Uh, Roland, you are, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. <sighs> Kian, 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 your tires are talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> he took a shroom. <laughs> Kian, why are they talking to me? You can't even Man, see the tires, dude. <laughs> they look out of these fucking shroom. Relax. relax. <laughs> You'll be all right. There's some faces everywhere. Faces, faces in the trees. All right, dude. <laughs> tweaking. You're tweaking, man. We'll be at the, uh, what's the store called in this, uh, in Galloway? Quick stop. All right, we'll be at the quick stop in just a second, bro. Don't worry about it. Dude, is this like... Persian leather? Oh my god. I'm just like, you look back, I'm just feeling it. I'm so glad you guys are here. Feels baby smooth <laughs> on the skin, huh? Oh. Yeah, most dope, eh? It's rough like sandpaper. <laughs> right up here, turn! Oh. <laughs> Roll in, as he turns, you're having a terrible trip and there are ants in your skin. <laughs> uh, you guys don't see this, he just thinks he's covered in ants now. Yeah. <laughs> So let me let me describe, by the way, what this looks like as you're driving to the store. So Timothy Rand's place is pretty detached from the rest of Galloway. It's kind of up a big dirt road and sort of sits over and on a smaller swampy part of the bayou. So you need to drive down these dirt roads and dodge some potholes, um, which you do high effortlessly. And as you get into town, I know these roads, yeah away from the tree coverage so much, you start to notice that uh, it's been raining this whole time and you turn on your windshield wipers that I had to think about for a second if they existed in the 80s. I don't know why they wouldn't. <laughs> um, 
And uh, you cruise through the very, very sleepy town of Galloway. It is exactly as you guys remember it. It's very much like a, a small one street town. New shops have popped up, some that you remember have closed. But for the most part, you just see a couple people walking around with umbrellas, a few yellowish flickering lights between these sort of big... God, what are the trees called? Uh, hang on, let me, let me find the name of these trees. I love this tree. It's so cool. I love trees. <laughs> yeah, we do, bro. You can take in them. They're called bald cypress. So basically those big trees and those transition into kind of your classic oak and and um, I play Minecraft, oak and birch and cedar. Uh, <laughs> and you guys sort of get into the main strip of town and you go to the, you are headed to Quick Stop. While you're going to quick stop, Timothy, you would notice that one of those people sort of walking around on the street, kind of looks like he's just hunching over a little, making his way down, is in fact, someone you recognize as Richie. Richie Sanders, oh. who you know is Richie Rat Sanders. And you see as he kind of catches your eye and sort of waves at you while you're cruising by with this these cool dudes. Hey, Rat! I poke my hand out. Hey, Rat! Stop, stop the car, stop the car! Is, do we know him? Uh, you guys, uh, would they know him, do you think? So you guys would know, when you left, he was a very young kid. He was like a little twerp, but you wouldn't have known uh, him very much beyond oh, that. Oh, so like he grew up while we were away. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So That's who cool. you see now in front of you is he's got like this greasy, long black hair that you can see. He kind of ties at the bottom into a big rat tail. And he's wearing <laughs> this like red bandana and he's got this uh, big, big oversized tie dye shirt with these low riding, very dirty jeans. We, You would remember we used to call him the rat. Yeah. As soon as you say rat, I go, whoa, bro, rat? Like, like Ridgy rat, dude? Richie yeah, man, rat. that's me, just scurrying around town looking for some cheese. <laughs> Love the rat thing. Hey, I got a little uh, cheese, if you're looking. Most triumphant, dude. Yo, you look old now. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what are you, like, 23 now? Yeah, um, uh, God, how does age work? How old would he have been? So he's, uh... I'm hoping he's, like, 15 or something and looks man, really old. Man, time is, like, a freaking <laughs> concept, dude. I don't know, man. He probably would have <laughs> been, like, eight years younger than us, so... Shut up, bitch it. I got like you. Are you still counting? You're still counting years and shit, man? Nah. Whatever, dude. I never passed 25. Well, if you guys are uh, in town, I'm happy to see you. Maybe uh, meet me out back once you're... Uh, when are you going to the quick stop? Yeah, we're, we're headed there right now. I was kind of hoping you'd be <laughs> on uh, on duty. Yo, I'm on doobie. Oh, All right, Rat, just meet us at the store. Okay. Rolling, rolling grabs onto, onto Ryan's arm. Why is there a giant rat talking to us right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's just Master Splinter, bro. Chill, kick it back, bro. Oh, I love Master, Sp Master Splinter. I'm a huge fan. You don't remember the rats all around here? It's all good. Oh, fuck. Rats, Everything's rats. fine. We're the rats. And he, uh, he goes and uh, just says to you, um, uh, Ran, okay, I'll meet you in the back. Same place, same time. Yeah. I give him a thumbs up and, then, and I lean back. He's cool. <laughs> he gets on all fours and runs into an alley. Yeah, dude. <laughs> there's still a bunch of rats in this town? That sucks, man. Bogus. Well, he's really the only one left, actually. I've never seen a rat like that in Chicago. So what are you guys thinking? Maybe some chips? Uh, we need snacks for the game. The abs to use, man. You know what I'm saying? Outrageous amounts of wiener schnitzel, bro. <laughs> what? Just get one big hot dog, dude, about 12 foot long. You know the ones you gotta eat with a fork? I don't... We Lather don't. that baby up in some coleslaw, ketchup, and mustard. What have Ooh. you been doing out there in oh, California? Dude. We get like um, a big slice of pizza to go with it? Well, I don't know if they'll have that in here, but we go in to this dingy okay. ass like quick stop it's like a corner store it's got maybe like a couple of aisles of of chips definitely no like hot food or anything <laughs> like that so before you go in you guys get out of the car get ready to to uh get ready to order your 12 foot hokey and as soon as you get out of the car and shut the door that rain that was downpouring all stops oh. at the same time 
and Bitch, you yeah. start to hear this sort of low rumble before you feel it. And for a split second, everything just kind of shakes and then it stops. Whoa. Whoa. Was that real? Was that why is everything shaking? Earthquakes in Louisiana, man. Hardly, dude. Would I know anything about this? Has this ever happened before? As you go to think about that, you would notice you don't remember earthquakes ever happening uh, here. This is the first time that you've experienced it. However, Kian rides this out. <laughs> this is, he's from California, yeah. Yo, dude, we get these in the West and know they'd be waking, making their way over Whoa. here, bro. Most triumphant. What was in those shrooms, man? Ah, uh, dude, the world just kind of shakes sometimes, man. Keeps us on our toes. You know how it is. <sighs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll ride it out. You doing all right? I look over to Roland. Oh my god, wait, yeah, because he's high on shrooms and there's an earthquake. <laughs> What's that like, bro? For for Roland? Yeah, yeah. How's, he, how's Roland doing? He is uh, hugging a tree right now. The one tree that's outside <laughs> of the store. I want to go over. Come on, man. When are we going to tell him okay. they were just regular mushrooms, bro? He'll figure it out. <laughs> he looks over <laughs> to Randy. He's like, and why is everything scary here? There's tears in his eyes. <laughs> Come on, dude. We were like grown ups, man. Stop fucking crying. Yo, by the way, guys, just like earthquakes or something else they have in the West, oh, it's called therapy, bro. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll check it out sometime. Absolutely blew my mind, dude. You gotta try it out sometime, bro. These people like know the mind. I would never see a shrink. I'd, I'll check it out for sure. Roland, come on, <laughs> get off the tree. You you like scrape his arms off the tree, basically. Snap out of it. What's wrong with you? It's the shrooms, man. You fit me shrooms. It was a normal mushroom. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just messing with you. What? Look, relax. Come on, head inside. <laughs> uh, placebo is really crazy, isn't it, guys? Yeah, <laughs> really crazy. You're fresh, oh bro. God. Come on, let's get some grub. I pull out a uh, a cigarette and I light it up. Oh, let me get one of those. Sure. Here, uh, catch, catch, catch. I catch that in my and mouth. I want to. I want to throw it over to go into his mouth. Yeah, I catch that one mouth. I mean. It's our signature You know what? Thing. Roll a... Uh, why don't you roll dexterity, Kian? I'm going to let him throw it over to you, but you got to try and catch it in the mouth. Damn. Did you just crit fail? No, I got, it, like, <laughs> I got it a 98, so yeah, you think so. You did. So, Kian, you've done this a thousand times before. You don't even need your eyes open. And as soon as you close them, you feel a cigarette go down your throat. Oh shit, hey, yo, like Rand, do you know CPR? You know how much? Uh, I'm I think so. Yeah, I, dude, I'm choking I, first. I, I, I walk over and I just like punch him in the chest. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what, it, what I'm supposed to. Here, sit just <laughs> crap. I, I get behind the key and, and do the high. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that was gonna work. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, he, he coughs up the cigarette onto the ground. Oh, he's heinous, dude. He's trying to kill me, bro. Oh, <laughs> it's worse than getting gagged with a spoon. That's a story for another time. You've been gagged by a spoon? Bro, there's some wild people out there in Hollywood, dude. You should have seen oh. the time that I was partying with uh, with the guys from Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses? You yeah, know the Guns N' right. Roses guys? Yeah. Wow. Dogs. The amount of people I've met since I've gone out there to be a rock star? Oh, I've got so many stories for you. Let's wait till we get back to the attic for some dund. Sure, yeah. Let's um grab a couple of snacks first. I want to go in. Legit, dude. All right. So uh, <laughs> uh, how, what order are you guys going in? I'd probably head in first. Okay. It's a gas station, right? I mean, like, oh, are you trying to kill us, bro? Yeah. All right. I go in uh, second. Okay. I go third, yeah. You go third? What is some kind of horror game? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah, it really is. And that's why I'm going to need um, Roland, since you're going in last. Uh, make me a listen roll. Listen roll. You can do listen or spot hidden. I'll let you do either. Uh, 21... So that's going to be really good. Yes, one second. Let me look at my listen because I know it's high. Uh, that's going to be a hard success on listen. Holy shit. Okay. On a hard success, you do not hear what is about to happen, but you also hear what happens before it. Oh. You hear the sound of birds 
you hear their sort of uh, like a sudden scream from like it's it's pretty unnerving like you've heard a flock of birds kind of cawing before but you hear them all caw at once and then a few seconds later you hear as on the ground right next to that cigarette that Kian coughed up these crows start falling onto the ground and splattering uh, into blood. Go ahead and make me a sanity roll. Uh, 43, that passes. So you take no sanity damage, but you essentially hear the sound of a bunch of birds in distress. It's almost like the sound of, of rain, or it's like... Yes, like it yes. So at first it's just one, and then two, and then three, and then, like, a, a, an entire flock essentially comes down, and you're in the doorway enough at this point where you don't need to, like, duck for cover, but you see as they splatter all over the pavement, and unfortunately, Kian's beautiful DeLorean no. and all over the street and you are the one that hears it at first but when it all comes down the car alarm goes off and the other two of you notice as well yeah as it starts Roland kind of like start he kind of loses his breath a little bit he's like what and he tries to reach out to grab like either either Kian or Rand whoever's like I'm in closest. front of you okay then I would I would like try to grab at Yo. your shoulder oh dude dude hey watch the threads man what's up <laughs> What? Point outside. <laughs> I look yeah, outside. you point outside and you clearly see a like it it is it is gross. I mean it's like a mass of feathers and basically just red liquid and viscera. And since you're looking at it too, I'm gonna say go ahead and make a sanity roll. It was pretty pretty gross. Oh, uh, it's not just a bunch of dead birds. <laughs> I mean it's a bunch of dead birds, but that's still <laughs> but it's but, but they're all over your car. <laughs> yeah, here uh, I got a, uh, I passed my sanity roll. Okay, nice. I'd probably yeah, hard take... success if that existed for sanity. I don't think it does. Yeah, no, you just take no sanity damage. You're totally good. Please tell me you're seeing this too. Uh man, dude, people are still shooting the birds out here. Ugh. Yeah, don't worry about it, bro. I've got a few more back at home. It's just a car, right? Come on, man. Let's get in there. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what are you, guys? What are you doing out there? Uh, just some. Like a, uh, someone's shooting a bunch of dead birds, dude. Fell all over my car. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> what I'm just letting you, you know. Mean? For a while, dude, I plan on playing the, the person who is going to be in denial about anything no, mysterious. No, that's great. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> hey, Rand, you would know that's never happened before. I, I will I will just tell you straight up. That has never happened. Okay. I, but I'm I'm not seeing it, so I'm just assuming like there's like one or two dead birds. Oh yeah, I just tell them a bunch of dead. <laughs> birds. Yeah, no, if you're not looking, if you're not looking, you're like, all right, Ben. All right, whatever, just let them be. It's probably the fucking Jensen's up there. They're freaks. Clean, we'll clean it off later, man. No sweat. Come on, they got chicken chips. Chicken chips, dude. And you make your way into the store. Yo, Billy Mays! <laughs> that, that just, uh, I think that's the guy who, who works at that fucking cool. Yeah, stuff. yeah, no, you see that Billy Mays is still working here after all these years at the Quick Stop. Hey, Billy Mays here. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Some things never change. All right, Billy. I want to grab the chicken chips and put them on the counter. We going to have a problem today or are you going to take my form of payment? And I pull out from my denim jacket a little bag with like two grams of weed depends are you gonna have fucking money today <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I throw two grams of weed on the counter yo billy you working on any inventions bro take a drag from my cigarette <sighs> let's just say i'm working on something that'll make you go wow so much people will think it's a sham <laughs> ding <laughs> and he i guess winks <laughs> and says ding what do you say bill come on two grams it's worth way more than a bag of chips. Yo, 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 mm. yo, 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 you know what's all, You know what's worth about as much as a bag of chips? The amount of money it costs. <laughs> yo, chill, oh man, I got this, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me take care of it, all right, dude? No worries. Okay, no skin off my back. No stress, man. All right, I pull out my Platinum American Express <laughs> credit card. I don't know if that exists in the fucking 80s. Wait, they, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me look. Let me look. If this is like I have thing. no idea what banks were in the 80s, dude. <laughs> I don't either. I just want a golden card, bro. You can absolutely have a golden, like, bedazzled card. 
Oh yeah, no, the travel loyalty boom was in the eighties, so you'd probably have a nice aero. You'd have a great plane. card. You'd have a great card. I probably like multicolored fingernail painting too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. I just swipe that bitch when everyone's ready and got all their stuff at the counter. Yeah, I grab some zaps and a Coca Cola and a nice cold glass. What did you ask? What is what is that like a Pokemon? Is that like <laughs> a po- What is that like one of those Pokemon cards? I've never seen one of Bill, those. Bill, just ring it up, man. <laughs> And no one's come up with Pokemon yet, so by Pokemon I meant baseball. Oh wait, does this place not have cards? <laughs> so I just look I just looked it up. I just looked it up. And you can use it at an ATM, but no cards. You know what I mean? Like you need to withdraw and then spend oh, it. I didn't so know he that. does not have a card reader. Dude. I didn't either. I looked it up. Yeah. All right, well fine. I, then I would just pull out cash on my fucking golden card. <laughs> oh yeah, that works. See, look at this, look at this good example. Maybe you could uh, learn a thing or two from this guy. I give him a thousand dollars, bro. <laughs> you give him a thousand dollars? Yeah, dude. Okay, he puts it in his pocket. He walks out the door, flips it to closed. <laughs> <laughs> a little extra change for uh, for all your hospitality, dude. Holy shit! I'm gonna change the world. Would you take that money and go buy yourself a new girlfriend that's not eighty? Whoa, dude, bird man. I give him like a dap. <sighs> Bump him. I'm gonna do more than clean up my act. I'm gonna clean up everything. OxyClean, Billy Mays origin story. Bye. <sighs> Does that mean we can just grab whatever else we want from the store? Like, yeah, I guess we just bought this uh, quick stop, man. Happens, way she goes. Okay, yeah. Wait, if we bought the quick stop, hang on a second. I go poke out the back door. Rat, come on in. I got an idea. You call out to rats behind the store, and you don't hear anything back. Rat, uh, rat. go ahead and make God me a it. spot hit and roll. Fucking kid. All right, spot hidden. I got a oh god no I I got a fifty and my thing is twenty five. Yeah, so you don't see rat anywhere, but as you go to lean out, you need to catch your footing for a second because you slip on something. Huh. Shit! What the? I want to look. What am I slipping on? This sort of viscous red slime. Oh. Oh, I want to, like, lean down and look at it. Yeah. Guys, over here. All right, take another drag off the cigarette. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell? Is it from one of the the crows? I want to pull out, like, a little, maybe, like, a stick or something. Maybe, like, take the back of my lighter and pick up a little bit of it just to look at it. Okay. As you go to pick it up... You see that it's a lot thicker than you expect. You know when you cut into meat that is very, very fresh and the me- the muscles kind of like reflexively tense? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost like that happens with this slime. Oh. Ew, dude. Fuck, nasty. Oh. And you see that it's kind of leading uh, into the alley a little bit. I think it's probably just like melted ice cream, man. Dude, th- this is blood red. It leads away in like a trail. Yeah, like cherry ice cream, dude. Yeah, it looks like it. Shit. Uh, but like, anyways, man, I'm craving some French toast Burger King, like Burger King French toast sticks, dude. We'll we'll go in a in a minute, but uh, looks like it's leading that way. You gonna follow the melted ice cream, man? No, I mean I don't know. Rat's supposed to be out here. He normally doesn't miss a sesh. Oh, oh this, shit! Dude. Kid's probably in some trouble. He's a little weird. If this is up to him, then that's kind of on me. He's kind of my uh, protege. Oh, dude, no, hey, no sweat, man. Hey, let's hop in the car and we'll follow this trail, yeah? Uh, I, I think it just leads back here. Let's just, uh, let's just leg it. We can just walk it, yeah. All right, dude. I, uh, I'll start to walk out the door. I'll go. I'll go grab our snacks on the counter. Cool. All right. And I'll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> grab them. I'll grab the snacks on the counter. So as you follow this trail it leads to the back of the building and around Mm -hmm. the corner sort of down the alley that you saw rat disappear when he scurried as rat does okay as we're walking can i talk to uh roland for a minute absolutely roland so what's it like up in chicago anything Uh, interesting up there well you know i think you'd actually like it quite a lot um hey i got a pretty sweet deal down here definitely better than this run down old town well yeah, you would say that working for the man. Well, when you see the thing, I go back up now. Yeah, dude, you gotta yeah. rage against the machine, man. All right, here's your snack. Here's your snack. I mean, I don't work for the man. I work against the man, technically. 
I'm a defense Whatever. attorney. All I see is a big fancy suit and some big fancy words that we didn't see way back when. Most true, bro. Listen, Ren. You got to make your money just doing what you love, man. That's how you stick it to the universe, dude. And the universe is against us. The universe, the man, they're all on our backs. Laws, bro, just trying to tie us down, man. We need to be free and fly like birds. Kaka! No, these birds don't Kaka! fly. I'm like, I'm like cacaoing <laughs> in his face. Kaka! You know, there's this car that runs on water, man. Made by some guy. And the man came down, stomped that right out. Because they need us, dependent on that oil. Some kind of government conspiracy. Are we fucking smoking still while we walk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, God. man. I'm yeah. constantly smoking. Uh, most excellent uh, perspective, dude. Why don't you do some lawyering on that, huh? Well, some of us had to grow up. Yeah. Yeesh, I guess. dude. Harsh, man. I'm still 25, so don't even worry about it, dude. I got some time. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, it heads around here. And follow the trail. It leads between buildings in such a way that when you turn the corner, the sun is cut off by the top of one of those uh, nearby looming roofs. And you can see where the trail stops, but you can't really see where it's coming from, if that makes sense, at the back of the alley. There's some strange folks around here. So if you see anything strange, we book it. Can I say that I I'm wearing my uh, my Rhodes on strapped on my back my guitar? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I don't go anywhere without it. Spot hidden. <laughs> oh that... shit! Yes, go for it. Uh, roll spot hidden. Absolutely. Forty seven. So that's just a regular pass. On a regular pass, you're gonna see not just what's at the end of this alley. You're gonna see a little more. Could I call out for Rat and listen to see if he responds? Yeah, why don't you... Yeah, let's let's do that at the same time. So roll listen as well. Okay. Yo, Rat, dude. Hey, man. Rat, I got your favorite. Start jingling the bag of weed. So roll that... Yeah, roll that listen. Uh, I actually pass, I think. Yeah, I do. Very close, though. So I'm going to start with the listen, because mm. that's worse. You hear Rat... As you sort of open your ears and use that uh, that musician's ear that's gotten you this far. Rand, is that you? Rand, I can't see anything. Is that you? Am I high? Uh, Rand, hey, yo, throw it this way, man. <laughs> what? I hear the voice. You also hear what sounds like a clicking? Oh. And Roland, you see what is happening as you step forward, Rat's face, or at least most of it. Oh. He has essentially been turned into a still breathing, still kind of moving smear on this wall. His bones and flesh and fingers still are almost grabbing for something and you can almost see through his skin to his beating heart but it looks like he's been turned into a paste and that is what this trail has been following it is not blood it is literally rat and I need you to make a sanity roll 82 I fail okay you fail I'm going to tell you the other thing you see really quick before I tell you what happens here the other thing you see with that you got a hard success on spot headed, right? Oh, or you no, just get a regular. Just regular. Oh, you just got a regular? Okay, then you just see one other thing, and that is as you follow the trail up to him, set of footprints in the sludge, uh, leading away from him. And on that fail, roll a 1d6 of sanity damage for me. Oh, that's a lot. So in this game, you've got health, but you've also got sanity. That's five. Or four, or four. Uh, I don't know if you're adding plus one, though. Uh, we are. So you take five sanity damage, um, which means that you may have a uh, you may have a bout of madness here. But go ahead and first roll me an intelligence check. You want to fail this check and not understand this, essentially. 
Damn, I fucking crit. I hard success. Oh shit, you got a hard success? Yes. Holy fuck. Okay, you instantly remember sort of all the good times you had with this guy as you're seeing his beating heart. You remember going to high school with this person together and you, it's too much. And in a fit of madness. Can I just like scream and run away without saying anything? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have a place I would go. <laughs> okay, yeah, then let's let's do that. So involuntarily, you let out a shriek. It, it's more like a slow... I, I want to say, like, I, I'm walking, I kind of comprehend what I'm seeing, and I slow down, and then there's just sort of the... <laughs> just sort of just sprinting down this alley the other way. <laughs> yeah, and he starts sprinting off. You don't know where to. Roland, what the, the hell? Roland, dude, where... What did he... I want to look over, get closer to... And see what he was looking at. Uh, I'm gonna chase after Roland. Hey, hey, bro, dude. Kian, then you're good. But Rand, I need you to make a sanity roll as well as you approach and see that. You can't just take off like that, man. Roland, Roland, <laughs> Roland is sprinting. You still hear? <laughs> I fail by four. Damn. Your sanity is is less than thirty four. It's thirty, because you said it was it was equivalent to pow. My oh my 30. god, you are not sane. Holy shit. Wow, yeah, I guess smoking weed all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that that makes sense. Okay. That's gonna then, be rough. <laughs> oh my god, that is rough. Uh, go ahead and roll me a d6 of sanity damage. Both of these guys are insane, dude. That's a three. Okay, you take four sanity damage, and you basically involuntarily just start gagging at the smell of this. Oh. Um, you'd think that it would smell worse in a way, so it's weird that it kind of just smells like, it just smells like skin or something. Like, it, 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 it should be worse. You'd expect some sort of terrible smell, but it almost smells good to you. Oh. And you start kind of gagging and involuntarily do that as you look at him. It, do I recognize it to be rat? Yes, absolutely. Can I, is he, is he like conscious or anything? Can I run up to him like as I'm gagging? Yeah, yeah, you run up to him. What do you do? Okay. Brett, hey, hey, is, hey, what the, is that, what the fuck is going on? Is that you, Rand? Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's, what? it's me. And what drops the that, cigarette on the ground. Oh, is in that weed, man? Uh, nothing, not, you're, you're gonna be all right. What happened? What, what do you mean I'm gonna be all right? Is this, this a bad trip? Yeah, bad trip, man, bad trip. What did you see? What, what? Oh, fuck, man. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. I just... Oh. I came back oh. here and I felt, um... Wait, if you're here, then who... What? Oh. Hey, hey, man. Hey, talk to me. Hey, rat. Hey. Uh, hey. There, there, was, there, was, there was someone else. Uh, and, uh... <coughs> and, he, and he came up behind me and I felt... Something sharp, and I uh, didn't think you were like a needle guy, so I, I don't know. Uh, hey man, what's uh, what's where are we right now? We're 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 back behind this the store, right? We're we're back here. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna get help for you, and hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. Remember how we used to. We, we used to come here all the time, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Smoke weed and talk about all our crazy theories. Our crazy yeah. theories. Yeah, hey, I remember. You're gonna be. We're oh, gonna have man. more. We're gonna have more. Just, oh man, just hang tight, man. Just hang tight. Hey, man, do you remember? Uh, do you remember what what you said to me about what what you thought comes after? Can you? What what comes after? Do you think? I just don't, we don't. Don't worry about what comes after, man. You're you're not going there. Not now. Do you do anything else? Is he? Does he still look like alive? He is. You would know he's well past the point of of being helped. You would assume. I mean, it's he's barely recognizable as human. Right? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, just you know, maybe, maybe there's a light or something. Maybe you go into that and it doesn't hurt so bad anymore. Here. And I'm like, I'm shaking. And I put a put the little like smoke in his mouth. <laughs> oh. I knew that was coming. Oh, here. Okay, here. here, man. No, We're man. No, man. I thought there was gonna be a light, but there's not. It's dark, but I. Okay. But I hear something. I hear something. 
and it's buzzing. It's buzzing. And then you see as his heart starts to speed up and then melt and his head falls limp. Hey, 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 fuck, fuck, Ugh, shit. And like start walking away. I take my sunglasses off and I just like drop them on the floor and my hands above my head. Fuck it. Shit. <coughs> I look back. Mm-hmm. I go down to pick up my sunglasses and I just start running over towards the direction they went. Okay. You pick up your sunglasses and slipping on this trail skidding, you run to the direction that they went. What do you guys want to do? Roll there, dude! Stop fucking running, man! Come here! I just chase him all the way into wherever we, he stops. <laughs> Where are you headed? My, uh, my movement, I don't know if I get to catch up with them, but... So you two are the same speed. Rand would catch up with you guys before you get to where you're going, but you'd all get to where you're going at about the same time. So where are you right. leading them right Roland now? Roland is absolutely running to his his little comfortable place in this town, that tree nice to the lake. Okay. Then I'm going to say he's pretty much incomprehensible all the way there, running through the street, flailing wildly. He's, kind yeah, of, he's like tripping and stuff. Like, yeah, like, yeah, taking corners. Very manically running. I shout. Yeah. I shout out. Dude, come on, dude. Just, uh, let's give that therapy thing a thing a sh- uh, shot, bro. <laughs> you can't take me to a shrink. He won't help. No, bro. Let me just run you through some exercises, man. It's really how my soul, I'm sure, can help yours. Ah! We, just gotta, we just gotta confront the past trauma, dude, and then we'll be all G. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My soul is unsavable! <laughs> I'm trying to help you, man. I'm a friend. Uh, we make it to the tree. Yeah, yeah, you you, you, you do make it there. That bout of madness ends. Let me be here for you, pussy! <laughs> for the next I love I love this fucking supportive 80s like anti-therapy friendship it's great um, so for the next four hours you can play this I'm not going to have any control over how you do this but you're going to feel like this is kind of the only safe place you have so you can play that out but also if you take any more sanity damage in these next four hours you're going to get the bout of madness to again come here to your safe place uh huh I actually have a question regarding that. Is there any ways... I guess I, I just don't know if I can do it without like being meta, if there's like ways to avoid sanity, like like inf- the taking the sanity damage without being meta. Just like Scooby-Doo style saying, nope! <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, okay. when you see that's weird shit, that's kind of it. Um, That, that and rolling well, and, and just generally, you know what I mean? Like, if, if they go in ahead of you, you're a little more fragile right now, maybe you can tell them that. Yeah. And it's only it's it's four hours, right? So it's not like a huge yeah. amount of also, time. Also, do you guys generate san- sanity ever? Or is it no, always... you guys never regenerate sanity. Okay, do we do we need to be careful? You need to be really careful about that. Maybe under super special circumstances, I will let you. You guys also will regenerate one health a day, and I can tell you right now that is not a lot. So you are very very fragile, okay. um, and you need to be very careful. We are real people, yeah. You all reach the, the this place. Would you care to describe this place, Condi? So it's sort of like, it's almost like one of those lakes that you'd see around like a suburb, you know? Like it's just a, a small little pond more like um, with a very tall tree that, that is very easily climbable. Oh, just like shit, man. in between like a fork in the road on, on a path. Is this the place, dude? Yeah. You know, <sighs> I don't know why I find so much comfort here. Um... Wasn't this that scary story you told me, dude? Yeah, it's also where I saw that. <sighs> hey. Guys! Guys! Oh, oh Rand, dude, fuck. welcome back. Hey. Fuck! What's up, man? Yo. He's dead, man, he's dead! He's fucking dead! All right, hey, catch your Shit. breath, man. All right, let's just... Hey, let's, uh, let's just bring it in, man. Bring it in, all right? You see me just, just hurl onto the ground. <laughs> oh, bogus. Oh, dude. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, the God. chicken chips, man. What a 
Wait. Not the fucking chicken chips, man. But dude, hey, Rat's hey, dead. Dove my case, He's bro. He's fucking mashed potatoes in the alley. Are you not listening? Fuck, man. I'm listening now, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm actively <laughs> listening, dude. <sighs> Listen, fuck me. I knew I should have come back here. Oh, oh shit. All right, just, just take care of it. Just take a second, man, okay? Yeah. We're still in the real world here, all right? Wait, wait, wait. Is this the... This is the place? Why the fuck would you take us here, man? What do you mean? This is where you saw that shit. I know I saw shit here. Right after what happened with your sister. Oh, don't even start with that shit, man. This has nothing to do with my sister. <sighs> Nothing's been the same since then. It doesn't make this place less special to me. <gasps> okay. Pull up a cigarette and light it. I've got some alcohol in my pants, probably, so I'll just pull that out. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, of uh, course. <laughs> I'll just like I'll just take one and I'll just pass it around. Hey, man, you gotta clean that that uh, you know gross shit. I out grab your mouth. the bottle <laughs> and I start like chugging it. <laughs> oh, dude, five hundred dollar bottle, man. <sighs> Thanks, man. Uh, pass it over to Roland. I uh, definitely oh. take a drink. That should heal your sanity, dude. <laughs> 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 New mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you bro, you just took damage. He mentioned that he was stabbed in the back, and he hears a ringing, things mm -hmm. like that, buzzing. Do buzzing, 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 buzzing. Yep. I would like to roll a cult and see if this has anything to do with sacrifices or anything of that nature. Go ahead and roll a cult. For what I think it might be. Okay. Really. That's a 40. Uh, it's a success. Just a plain success. Okay. So you get the sense that if this were an occult sacrifice, they probably would not do the ritual in the back of a quick mart alley. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So that is, you get the sense that this is part of something weird. If this is a part of any of the rituals you've ever seen or read about, this is just the start. Like there's usually some kind of sp secret spooky gathering, right? Where like something happens following your sort of occult, like the typical flow chart of occult things that happen. Oh, <sighs> okay. Oh, man, I... You guys, you guys saw it too, right? You saw Rhett. Uh, I didn't see anything, dude. I, as soon as you I took watched, off, man, I had to go get you. I watched his fucking heart melt. Oh, God. Whoa, bro, that he is was, deep. He was so fucking scared. <sighs> That's some. I want to die. Next level poetry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is why I got out of this town, man. Like, literally, he melted, dude? Just a heart. Yo, well, look, look I, I'm here for you guys, man. Let's keep talking through it. <sighs> you are really going therapist, Drew. <laughs> Thanks, man. But I don't know if therapy is going to stop this shit. Seems like some kind of ritual or something. Oh, that's some, like, next level, like, some, like, yo, be, like a real cult, man? Something like it. No, 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 it can, sure, it can be explained by something, right? I, I don't mean, fucking no, man. Well, well hey, bro, I, uh, it just doesn't make sense. If it was some kind of sacrifice, they wouldn't have done that shit behind the fucking quick mart. Doesn't make any fucking sense. <sighs> okay, so. I would like to, if you'd let me, make two mm -hmm. separate psychology checks on these two guys to sort of ascertain if they are both being truthful about what they saw, like if I can hear okay. the genuineness, or if they're actually both psychotic. Uh, I will let you make. I will make you. I will let you make one psychology check okay. to ascertain both of these things. That works. That's a that's a success, man. Almost a hard one. God damn. Um, well, I've let me the therapy, tell bro. you. <laughs> I know. Apparently it helps. Yeah. No, with a, with a hard success, you 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 believe everything they're saying. You know that this is truthful. Or let me elaborate. You know that that's what they saw. Well, since this is most definitely not bitching, man, why don't we just go play D&D &D somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play fucking D&D &D right now? Well, I don't want to. 
I don't want to get involved in like you know rat being turned to stew, man, and melting. We we gotta like call somebody, man, or something. Who are we supposed to call? All right, do you want to like call the lose the 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 Galloway Police Force, man? Rand, Rand, you oh, remember fucking dicks. What I saw here, what I said. The bodies. So many of them just floating in the water, and and the face and, and staring back at me. And they all just got pulled under. Nobody believed me. I've come back here, man. I've I haven't seen it again. <sighs> But if it's anything like like that shit, then yeah, man. Something's going on. I start playing 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 the guitar softly like what we're listening to right now. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's awesome. No, like there's anything we can fucking do about it. I just I just need a moment uh, before we go. Listen, homies, I'm um, not like we're going anywhere specific. I'm your ride or die, bro. So you just tell me what we're doing and I'm in. Thanks, man. But I think personally, we get back, hop in the DeLorean, take a little road trip for the boys, maybe see a therapist and uh, and we just, you know, kick it back away from this town, bro. Get out of town for a little bit. <laughs> Right now in the day, it's probably getting around uh, dinner time. You guys are up in this tree and there's this sort of golden light peeking through and shimmering on the uh, the water and shore below you guys. You know, I'm not, I'm not just here for a fun trip to play D&D, man. Well, why did you come back then, dude? It's my parents. Uh, um, they both passed away unexpectedly a bit ago. Heinous information you're sharing right now, dude. I could have to keep it straight while saying that's right. No, but he does look very sorrowful. Yeah, no, for sure. That's 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 uh that's heavy, man. Uh, you know, I just I just kind of left them here. My parents are probably in a cold, so like maybe we could ask them what's going on. Yeah, you kind of left everything here, huh? What was I supposed to do? Brad? Whatever, man. Yeah, let's fucking get out of here. We can mourn your parents after whatever the fuck is going on here is over. Or we could mourn them in our own way, man. Like, we could just go drive out to the desert side, you know, and Arizona and just camp out there, dude. No. And Smartest horror characters. Fuck it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot up some fireworks, bro. Like... I gotta grab something before we go, though. I can't leave it, man. I need to come back tomorrow. And we can be back tomorrow, dude. You know how good I drive. We just gotta take a stop by my house. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of town tonight. Woo! Fuck. I'm gonna get my car, and then I'll meet them. Or I guess we can all get my car, and then we'll we'll drive to his house, and then we'll drive to uh, uh, Arizona, dude. Okay. That's Sounds our good. plan right now. <laughs> That's a good plan. Yeah, the tree probably isn't too too far away from where the uh, quick stop was. Probably probably like an hour on that tree then. Okay, so you get down from the tree, you start walking back towards the quick stop. As soon as we leave the tree, Roland is like kind of shaking. You know, he looks a little uncomfortable just being in this town at this point now. Relax, man. We're getting out of here. Or at least the next three hours. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> roughly. Roughly three, roughly. three three hours. Yeah. Okay. Sun is a little lower. You guys walk back. It's a little bit of a, a trek. You got a real workout from Roland. And you make it back to the quick stop where you see that the very small town police, it just looks like a couple of them, have kind of put up tape around all of the birds uh, and your car. So oh, they're just kind of chilling there with like a notepad. Someone's like talking to them. And then these birds <laughs> fell on this guy. I don't really know what to do. Hey, um, officers. I Shit. I back away. I'm not talking to the cops. Oh, interesting. Hey, roll stealth. I don't know. I guess I just want to like stay inconspicuous. Not necessarily. I just blend oh, you're not in trying more to, than You're anything. not trying to hide. You're just not, trying to. No, I'm not hiding. I'm just, I'm trying not to gain the attention. That is called hiding. <laughs> so well, I want you to, if you listen, 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 if you don't mind, if a cop looks at you, then you don't have to roll stealth. That's all that. How about that? So if you don't want them to look, see you roll stealth, uh, if they see me, are they going to talk to me? You don't know. Okay. Then I'm rolling stealth. 
I want to blend in. I want to like turn okay. around, let them not see my face. Okay. I got a oh oh holy ooh, shit, ooh, ooh, dude! Ooh, ooh, I know it's ooh, a little ooh, soon, ooh. but like Richie, you melt into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding. I got an extreme <laughs> success to hide from the police. That's fucking awesome. Okay, yeah, it's up to you if your friends know that you are doing this or if you were just vanished. It's pretty normal for him to duck from the cops. Yeah, they they'd be used to this, I think. Okay, cool. All right, so you guys approach the cops. What do you do, officer dudes? Like, officer dudes. Yo. Hey, good evening, officers. Back here from my car, all right? Good evening. Oh, is this your vehicle right here? Start to just grab the, like, the little windshield wiper thing, like the cleaner or whatever, and just push all the birds off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my, it's, this is my car. Sorry for leaving it here for an hour or so. Uh, got caught up in something. I was covering my badge. How do you know my name was Officer Dudes? Wait, Kian? <laughs> ah, no way! Oh, Officer Dudes yeah, from high me. school! Oh, no way! You were always shredding! Still shredding, I, I do a little... Oh, I love that for Got you. like a little oh, pocket man. amp. How's life been in the, in the big city? In Hollywood, dude, bro, there's some stories that would, you wouldn't even believe, man. Ah, uh, probably not. Told it to your little mind, would explode, dude. The city is crazy, bro. You gotta get out of this town, man. You know, the cops in L.A. are like... Shooting out with uh, with gang members all the time and uh, oh man and making arrests, dude, and like jumping off buildings. But you gotta get there, man. It's like Grand Theft Auto over there. No, you're right. You're right. That sounds pretty fun, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the subtler stuff is a little exciting too. And he sort of gives you a smile. Oh, like a creepy smile? I do psychology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Roll psychology. That is a hard success. It is a creepy smile. <laughs> it is a it is a creepy smile, and you don't remember him being that creepy. Uh, uh, no, anyway, um, if this is your vehicle, honestly, I have no idea what paperwork to do for a bunch of birds falling out of the sky. Uh, we kind of just put up the tape, and we're sort of waiting on someone else to uh, to tell me what to do with this. Um, maybe to come out, clean it up. I don't really want to touch it, so thanks for uh, moving those for me. Right on, dude. Well, hey, at least take it off your hand. Yeah. 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 At least you guys well, are consistent, you know. All right. Uh, hey, we'll uh, catch you later, officer dudes. Sounds good. All right. Let us know if you see anything weird. Yeah. I, uh, yo, I look at Roland. <laughs> and with my eyes, I ask. I, Actually, no. I, I I look at him with my eyes, and I express the intent that we need to go. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, so you don't, uh, you don't tell the cops. Not this cop. Is there another cop nearby? Uh, yeah, what was this guy's? Officer Dudes? This is Officer Dudes. Okay, the other one, the other one was Officer Boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that, who's that Officer Boys right there? Is that, is that your partner, or...? Oh yeah, that's my partner. He's uh he's new around here. I'm just showing him the the ropes, and usually the ropes aren't a bunch of birds. Any uh any officers around here that is not uh very related to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a pretty tight knit community. We all uh right, 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 know right. each other very well. Oh, excellent, dudes. All right, we'll see you see you then. Uh, I'll see you see you soon then. All right, just get in my car. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully not, dude. I mean. You know, I don't want to get in trouble. Hey, uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Stay safe, officer dudes. And I pick up Brandon and we drive away. All right. And in the car. Hey, if you see, uh, hey, if you see uh, Rand anywhere around here back in town, tell him to stop. Uh, he's been a little bit of a bad influence, especially with uh, Richie lately. So, Rand, dude, I haven't seen him in like 10 years. Yeah, who knows what that guy gets up to. Anyway, good to see you again, Keen. You're the coolest. Wink. <laughs> finger guns and do a little guitar riff and then get in my car and read and leave. All right. Don't go too far. <laughs> um, so anyways, oh. <laughs> in the car, as soon as we get them all together and we're heading back to Rand's house, I definitely let them know that this guy is creepy as hell. Yeah. You guys drive away from the cops, not telling them about the body uh, <laughs> behind the building they're at right now. And you drive back we'll find it. <laughs> up that dirt road and to Rand's house. You see that there is a one more car outside than there was when you left, so your dad is back home now. Oh, Jesus. So, what would you like to do? As we get in the car, it's just... Whew, how's that asshole? Hey, I can't stress this enough, bro. I don't know who that was, but it definitely wasn't dudes that we went to high school with, okay? Because, look, man, I've met some pretty uh, bad people in Hollywood, and there's some people that smile 
in a certain way where you don't want to meet them at night, dude, because they do want to kill you, bro. And um, that guy, Officer Dudes, he had that smile, bro. Man, you think Dudes is involved with that? Whatever's going on? Sheesh, man. Not my problem, but Shit, like, maybe. Man. I think we just head out to Arizona, come back, and, uh, you know, drop off, drop off, uh, Roland. You are you doing any better, Roland? Uh, he's still a little shaken up. Just drop um, you off at the funeral, man, and then I'll probably just, uh, skip town after that, to be honest. Yeah, man. It'll probably all blow over by then, anyway. Yeah, we'll have a sick ass, we'll have a kick ass time, dude. We could play DD in the desert. Here, Roland, loosen up a little, man. You look tense. I want to hand him just a cigarette. Okay. Yeah, you know, we're almost stuck. Uh, I mean, we're always, we're like chain smoking, bro. It's the 80s. He's doing it. He's doing it wrong, though. He's like doing it wrong. Uh, he's, he's not <laughs> so inhaling. He's doing it backwards. He's like he's eating just, the he, cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's just not inhaling. Dude, you're burning the filter. Oh, man. He's just like sucking into his mouth and blowing it out. Like, yeah. Fuck, man. Oh, shit. My fucking dad's here, man. All right. We got to be in and out quick. Damn, dude. So Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Rand is still taking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Lay off, man. You know what, right, dude? Your mom, the way she looks at me, dude. Never met a woman who looks at me like that. And it's been 10 it's years. It's creepy, man. Bro, I, that's, Rand's, that's Rand's mom, man. You gotta... <laughs> yeah, well, chemistry is chemistry, dude. It's science shit. Okay, well, lay off means lay off, man. Here, pull in, pull in that way. Make sure to turn it around. When we're leaving, we might have to go quick. You know, I'll just, uh, I'll sit here in the car and wait for you. How about that? Sure, whatever works, man. All right, Roland, you coming in? Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll grab the dice. We can play over in Arizona. <laughs> wait, no, you fucking creepy bastards. Don't leave me here alone. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so you leave him there alone. And as you're, uh, as you're creeping up to the door, um, I, or why, I don't know why I said that. You're just walking up to the door. You start to hear a dog barking, and you recognize that uh, <laughs> that Bark, the old golden retriever, he's still kicking. He's, uh, he's just kind of barking at you as you're walking up. Don't do anything to that poor dog. <laughs> Looks like Bark missed you a little. What's up, Bark? Makes one person in this town. Wait, what was what was their name? Okay, so Bark is short for barcode. We just called him Barcode. He's he's been alive for a long time since you got like before you guys left. Uh, he's old as fuck. And he's just like wandering forward. Oh my god, it's been so long. Oh, oh, oh Bark! Oh, hey. oh, 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 I give I give him scratches behind the ear. Oh, 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 yeah, and then I make excited dog noises into the microphone. Looks like one person at least missed you. Yeah, he's uh not all there like he was, but he's he's fine. Right, I am. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> what did, what did your dog just say? What? He didn't say anything. You do like, all right, man. Zoinks, dude. All right. No, it's Hey, I'll distract your dad, okay? <laughs> just a lot. Oh, man, I go up to him, I put my hands on his shoulders. You are a lifesaver. All Good right. luck. I pat him on the back. I can help distract too, unless you need help pulling stuff out. No, okay, so you, and I put my hands on his shoulders, are going to distract my mom from him. Uh, I, f I feel like, oh, from Do you want to switch, uh, you want to switch roles, dude? Because, uh. <laughs> no, his role is to stop you, man. I got to go upstairs and get some important stuff. Oh, you meant distract <laughs> your mom from me. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Come on, Park. Okay. All right, let's do this. Just like old times. I can sense it, dude. If I stayed in that car by myself, I was going to lose sanity. I had to leave. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, yeah, I noticed that you suddenly started talking like you were next to them. And I was like, this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, I'll, I'll say you guys are all in there. So who's going where? In the in the sort of foyer of the house, uh, it's just a two-floor house with a basement. So pretty much a main floor upstairs. I think you said there was an attic and there's a yeah, basement as well. Yeah, uh, that's where I would be is the attic generally. Yeah, you guys see when you enter the door, no one really seems to take that much notice. Bark is at the door. Sort of around the corner, you see illumination spreading across the room of god do they have televisions in the 80s yes they yes, do they there do. were tv shows you see a uh, sort of old old-fashioned tv set lighting up the room you can't see the whole room from there but you guys would know well enough that if john rand was anything 
uh, like he was when you left, he'd be in there just watching his shows. Um, you don't know where Donna is, and that's the situation. There's sort of a staircase in front of you, kitchen on your right, that living room lit up on your left. It's. I definitely wanted to have that like 70s, 80s looking living room kind of thing with those like nasty, like brownish oh carpets. Oh my God, gross. Yeah, the TV illuminates an absolute, like it's a combination of both piss and shit colored carpet. <laughs> There's like <laughs> weird zigzag <laughs> spiraling uh, pillows and, and, and furniture with all sorts of different weird zany colors. Um, even the walls are not all painted the same color. And there's just an ugly sort of wooden table in the middle of the room. Yeah, cigarettes like all like on the table and stuff. Oh, for gross. Sure. Yeah, cigarettes, empty bottles of alcohol, that good stuff. All right, good luck. Tap him on the back and I'll just like head upstairs. All right, uh, I guess we walk into the living room. I'm going to try. I'm going to go to the kitchen. I'm, I'm looking for his mother. I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, come oh, on, man. Fuck. Come on, man. Bro, dude, it's handle the dad, dude. Dude, uh, but the, Rand's going to be so pissed. I'll be there in like jobs. five seconds, man. I'm just saying hi. Don't, don't fuck his mom, bro. I can't, on the kitchen counter? <laughs> oh, man, dude. You know me so well. All right, dude. <laughs> five seconds, bro. I'm just saying hi. Okay. I'm trusting you. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Roland! <laughs> oh, I mean, God. Rand. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's start with uh, let's start with Roland. So, Roland, it's confusing because you guys have Roland Rand. I know, dude, it's yeah. messing me up, man. Roland, you walk into the living room, and uh, lo and behold, you see Timothy's dad, John Rand, glued to the couch. He, what does he look like, uh, Bisley? What does your dad look like? Um, he would definitely have that disheveled old man look. He's got like a scraggly like goatee that, that's a little too long. It's all white hair. He's got like that ring around the top of bald and like the hair coming down behind, almost like a, like a mullet. Like it's all business up front. No hair, but party coming down the back. I got these brown pants that have got a couple of stains on them. He works uh, He works up at the factory, so he, he's, like, covered in shit all the time. He's kind of leaned back. You can see the pit stains, and eyes are just glued to that screen. He's got a, he got a bottle in his hand. Yeah, and he has currently a quadruple chin, but he leans up so it's only a double, and he goes, Huh? Hey, uh, Mr. Rand, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, how are you? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> you know me. It's, I mean, it's been ten years. Oh well, you know, I don't know if you heard about my parents, but uh, they they've passed away. <laughs> when I said he can communicates through grunts, I did not think this is what you were gonna take it through. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Oh my god. <sighs> But yeah, dude. I mean, you know, things are pretty crazy. And he kind of sinks back into the couch. Oh, what are you watching? Uh, I love this show. Yeah, <laughs> you know when when uh, uh, the, the, uh, it's really uh, funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Okay, you need like some water. Is Timothy home? Um, oh, he's just out grabbing some things. He was supposed to be back with groceries hours ago. Me and his mom are very upset, mostly that he hasn't moved out yet. You got the yeah, right idea, um, going to the big city, working a real job. <sighs> hey, so you said that Timothy was out, by the way, right? Not home? Yes. I'm going to need you to roll for that. Okay. There's actually, per you can use any of your social skills to try and do this, I will say. So however you, you want to try and convince him, you can. So I see that you've got fast talk and persuade, so you can yeah. try and, as long as you flavor it as such, you can, uh, you can do that. You can use that. Yeah, probably persuade. Okay. Oh, that's a fail. That is a, that's a big fail. Yeah. Yeah, t t t yeah. Timothy um, is just, I mean, upstairs. I mean, uh, he's just grabbing some stuff. Um, What's your skill in Persuade? 60. Oh, it's 60? Okay, so since your skill is um, that good, you don't crit fail. You just okay. fail. So if it's above a 50, uh, basically, you crit fail on your max roll. But if it's below a 50, you can crit fail on 96 to 100. So 
Okay. Uh, he leans up at you, and did you correct yourself? Uh, yes. I got some things I want to say to him. I think I think uh, tonight's gonna be the night we uh, we have a breakthrough. What what kind of breakthrough are we talking about here? <laughs> um, yeah, where'd you uh, where'd you say it was? <clears throat> uh, just uh, out 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 and about. I'm very stuttering over my words right now because I've already fucked up. <laughs> you already fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, out, out and about. Um, where exactly? And he kind of just uh, uh, sort of approaches you. Just like peels himself very slowly off the couch, kind of like cricks his back. Like, uh, puts Can you his just hands. roll an in- intimidation check for me and like <laughs> see if you intimidate me? I wanna... <laughs> yeah, sure. I can do that. I can do that. I just want to, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Oh my god, did you just roll a 15? You did just roll a 15. Yeah, so he rolled an intimidation check. Uh, that would be a hard success on an intimidation check. Yeah, he's um, uh, he's just in the attic grabbing the, I mean, the, 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 the quick stop. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, alright. You, uh, you tell me what I miss here on my, uh, my show. My show. Yeah, it's yes, really good, really good to run into another uh, fan. What, what show is on right now? <laughs> uh, you see, it's just like a static shot of a cave, and it's just two cavemen, and they're going, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you see, as uh, one of the cavemen looks at the camera and smiles, and there's a laugh track, and it um, like shows a title card of the name of the show, which is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, oh, I'm so sorry Rand. that's what Stop, happens in that hilarious. situation okay we might be able um, to save it yeah let's cut over to Kian Kian what are you doing alright where it, hey can I find Mrs. Rand in the kitchen or something you can certainly or wherever try. it doesn't have to be the kitchen sorry I know it's the 80s but I don't mean to be sexist <laughs> wow, <fuck laughs> hey just for that I'm gonna make you roll spot hidden instead of just telling you okay cool as you look around his house she wouldn't so hide from me it's, I, I don't I don't succeed. You could do listen as well. Oh, then I would succeed. You hear a Mrs. sound. Rand. Yeah. Uh, okay. You just hear kind of like a a, a, a creaking sound coming from upstairs. Uh, this is not currently where Timothy is, so you would assume that she's where that sound is. Okay. So I would do this before uh, Rand's dad started to move because it's happening. Yeah, at the same we're time. gonna say we're gonna say that you could have done this before. Yes. You probably get like five minutes. Yeah, okay. exactly. Before he starts walking up the stairs. All right. So um, as soon as uh, Rand is out of sight in the stairs, then I will uh, run up the steps after him, but quieter, and then go towards that sound. Okay, cool. Yeah, you go up towards that sound, and uh, you hear uh, you hear Donna shout, "Hey, what is, what is it, John? I thought you were watching Ash show." I open the door. <laughs> Keegan. <laughs> no. Uh, I thought you was out of town. Hey there, Mrs. Rand. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Mr. Stone. You uh you find you find yourself a uh, sweetie Mrs. Pie out in the uh out in the big wide California yet? Uh, I mean I've met a few babes every now and then. And nobody really looks at me like <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Like what? Like what, Ken? Well, like uh Charming southern woman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charm. I'm gonna put the moves on, bro. I'm charming his mom. Go <laughs> ahead, go ahead, bro, and roll that charm. I literally dropped the bro accent, bro. I start talking like Matthew McConaughey. That's insanity, <laughs> dude. That is uh, a hard success. Now, this is a stupid time to remind you guys, but in Call of Cthulhu, there's something called luck points that you can use to up your successes from regular to hard, hard to extreme, so on and so forth. You want me to use my luck points to get (laughs) extreme I'm just saying it's a funny time to remind you. Anyway. I mean, this will probably distract his father if I get an extreme success, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it certainly, uh, certainly would. Um, Let me grab something. I need a... All right, hold on. Let me just see how many points this will take. (laughs) Fuck, <laughs> guys, this is my first time DMing in so long. What do I do, guys? Chris is gonna have sex with Missy's mom. I don't know what to do. No, dude, I'm not gonna have sex, man. Anyways, I use 13 luck points to make an extreme success. You know, I've uh, John tried to get into uh, guitar a couple years back, but um, I strum, and it's like the most beautiful melodic chord ever. You never quite had the uh, 
dexterity that uh and the door shuts and we'll fade to black. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, okay, just so I know, what are you trying to accomplish here in this scene? I'm not going to actually like go because, you know, we don't have the time to start fucking. So, um. Oh, that's the only uh, reason? Yeah, okay. but I do need, I do need to, um, make out with his mother and have her like yell, uh, Kian's name so that I get, uh, Bisley's father's distraction as he's walking up the steps. I'm trying to get chased out of this house oh with a shotgun, God. you know what I mean? Okay, okay, yeah, certainly. <laughs> so <laughs> This is also to help Rand. This is also to help Rand, okay? Yeah, sure, buddy. It's, it's all for Rand, dude. I'm doing it for Rand. Okay. So I'll offer you I'll offer you an alternative here. I'll offer you two options. Either we can do what you said and you can make out with his mom, or option the other option, um which dude, she's totally in her sixties, by the way. I, I know, I know, which is less homeworkery, <laughs> is basically you can play her a song and it'll just look really bad as well. It's up to you. Okay, you how about do. this? I'm how about just... this? I'm gonna play her a song, and it's gonna sound and look really bad from the outside. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, she. I mean, you, that's you throw him a chord, and she goes, "Oh, Kian." Uh, and uh, at this at this time, John is walking up the stairs, and you hear the stairs creaking, and he hears that and goes, "Huh? Who is that? Oh, you you never you never forgot just quite how to do it, did you?" And John says, "Hey, what's him?" And uh, he uh, just creaks open the door and goes, What the fuck? <laughs> and he sees you uh, on the bed playing Donna the guitar. And Donna goes, Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, John. It ain't, it ain't what it looked like. And uh, what do you say? Because you are in this fucking like deep ass, like chest exposed leopard print robe. Oh, hey there, Mr. Ran. Care to join? Wanna jam? I say. <laughs> Roll me another one of those uh those those charms. Alright. That's another hard success, dude. Damn. He walks up to you. <sighs> I'd be honored to learn from the best. <laughs> you see as he uh, reaches over, dusts off a guitar that Donna got him. He never quite got to bust out. Sits down on the bed with you with a loud creak and uh, this is this starts old trying woman's to play wet along. dream, bro. <laughs> the two men in her life, minus her son. Oh, geez. Um. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Ran. I've met some bodacious babes in my time, but none as bodacious as you. Jesus. <laughs> That's my wife. That's my fucking wife. <laughs> Here's how you play a G chord, Mr. Ran. Did you actually say that in front of him, by the way? Probably. And then I you mean, said, this is, how you play a, this is how you play a G. <laughs> the, bro, this ain't D D, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, oh, yeah, like your wife's a real babe. Here's how you play a G chord. Oh, dude, I mean, he should take it as a compliment. They're both 60, right? I mean, like. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool, but, um, <clears throat> listen, it's, uh, getting late, um, uh, Ken, you probably, uh, are you staying the night? Actually, me and the dudes are probably gonna go out and, uh, you know, spend some time somewhere else out of town for the night and then come back for, uh, Roland's parents' funeral and then, uh, yeah, it's probably about it. Okay, okay. Thought I'd, uh, Timothy say anything to you about, uh, leaving for the night? Timothy, Timothy, who, I don't know who that is, but, like, I'm sure he's a sweet dude. Oh, you're talking about Rand! Oh, dude, wicked, yeah, I mean... You know, our last names are also Rand. Like, it's the, the thing is that our, all of our last names are Rand, so when you say Rand in the Rand household, you gotta specify... Oh, word. That's how it works? Dude, my B. Uh, yeah. My parents didn't give me one. Uh, what? Yeah, dude. I just, you know, I'm keen stone because rock and roll, man, is all. Figured we should be able to find our own identity, you know? Like, not all yeah. share one. You ain't got no, your folks never gave you no last name. You know, I mean, like, y y you guys know where we grew up. I mean, those. I know of it. <laughs> Those two, I mean, nah, they're just chilling, bro. They let me find out who I was by myself. You know, 
believe it or not, um, Don and I had some crazy days we spent around there uh, in our young years. Not for long, but... Uh, oh, John, um, we, we accidentally ate poison ivy. I don't, I don't really? think that was... Uh, <laughs> that was real. Yeah, we were um, real, uh, real, real crazy, like you. We were real crazy, like you. I'm basically as cool as you. <laughs> well, I can see that this kind of life, this rock star life, would have uh, suited you well. And I, I wink at <laughs> Mrs. Rand. Wow, dude, you're really you're charming the shit out of him. Yeah, all right. So yeah, you wink at her. She goes, uh-huh. uh huh. <laughs> and um, well, let's we cut better, over. Uh, better get going here pretty soon. Yeah, I'll let him do what he's doing. Yeah, I was going to say, because you are doing such a good job at charming them. There's no problem. There's just this <laughs> there's just this fucking man in their bedroom and they've accepted it. The girl from the ring is going to pop out of the TV and eat Connie's character. <laughs> well, don't give me ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm alone downstairs. Yeah, okay, here's what I'm going to do uh, uh, really, really quick. Go ahead, uh, Condi, you're watching the TV by yourself alone downstairs, right? What a great yes. idea, Grizzly. Go ahead and roll me a luck check, Roland. Yeah, sure, man. Thanks. Thanks for reminding what me. What a great DM. idea. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, not my problem, man. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? I just barely failed. Can I use luck points on a luck check? No, you can't. <laughs> Damn, Since you failed the luck failed. roll, you're watching this funny caveman show. <laughs> um, and you see as one of them steals someone else's uh, uh, stick. And one of the cavemans is not very happy about that and pulls out a rock. Oh. And starts walking over to the other caveman, and a laugh track begins to play as the caveman is basically just beating this other caveman with a rock, uh, looking at the camera. And you start to can think I of turn Richie. Off the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you can after this, but first I need you to make a sanity roll. Damn it! I'm gonna scream and run to a tree again. Evil bro. Oh, I just passed. You passed. 55. Okay. All right. All Turns right. the TV you... on just in time. Off. You sort of, yeah, you <laughs> see like the blood, <laughs> yeah, you see the blood splatter and on one of the blood splatters, you swear you feel like a wet sensation on your face, like it's splattered out of the TV and onto you and then you turn it off. Ugh. Up to now, we go up to the attic and we follow Timothy. Timothy, what are you up to right now? Okay, so as Timothy comes up into the attic, there's clothes just all over the place, kind of walks in and he grabs something off the ground and, oh, yeah, that's fine. He throws that into a, <laughs> oh, goes over, grabs a bag, throwing a couple of clothes in there. All right, now, um, yeah, he goes over, grabs a box, opens it up. You can see a couple of joints lined up, uh, a flask, and all the stuff for D&D. He throws cool. that into a bag, closes that up, puts it on his back, and now the big stuff. And he walks over to the corner of the room, opens the curtain, and there is the plant. <laughs> all right, how am I going to get you down there? Mm, you doing all right, baby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I love you. We're just going to take a little road trip. It'll be all right. Um, yeah, this will work. Goes over to the bed sheet, pulls it up, starts wrapping it around the plant. <laughs> Here we go. No oh, shit. You're heavy. No, I didn't mean it like that. God. Psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to your weed plant. We'll get there soon. Oh boy. Okay. So what are you trying to do here? I just want to carry the plant downstairs inconspicuously. Oh, I see. Well, you have no problem with it whatsoever. I mean, uh, Bark is pretty curious about this uh, new smell, but um, you hear three people laughing from the bedroom. Uh, you hear your father <laughs> and Donna <laughs> and uh, and Kian. It, sh it should sound so bad. <laughs> it, do it does. It does. It does. Uh, 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 your Comically father is going, bad. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, man. Fuck. And and Donna is like, wow, you both are uh, you both are really pulling it off. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, goes, what does what does Kian say? Bitchin. Nice. Come down the stairs. Do I see Roland on the couch turning off the TV? Yes. Yeah, you I turn off the TV. <clears throat> Roland, like, what is going on uh, up there? You were supposed to take care of my mom. I think. Um, I think I Kian's up there taking care of my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I listen. I I tried to stop him. I swear. 
Uh, <sighs> yeah, that's all right. But he's he's a slippery dude, you know. No, no, <laughs> for sure. You were you always were really reliable, weren't you? Come on, is that, go. Is that tongue in cheek? Go put this in the fucking car, man. <laughs> you just get an asshole to me right now. What? No. Why would I be being an asshole to you? I don't know. You've kind of. It's just... not like you ditched or anything. Yeah, well, so did Kean, and I haven't heard you be passive aggressive to him yet. Whatever. Can you put okay. this in the car? I got a couple things to grab. Dude, the, the I'm just I'm just saying right now. The actress for Aunt May and Spider Man No Way Home is 57 years old. Yeah. So this is what is I'm she? imagining. Yeah, she's 57, dude. That's how I'm imagining your mom looks in my head. Listen, bro, your mom can be as hot as you want her to be. All right. So there, now it's your now it's your fault. Now it's your fault if you say your mom's hot. That was my head cannon, bro. That's my head cannon. She's like hot to you. She maybe looks like that to you because you saw her when she was young. She's definitely not aged well. She smokes all the time, and she like is does not keep up. Okay, well she used to look like that when I was a teenager. But sure, hey, I mean, Timothy's, al- Timothy's also got the sun bias, so who knows? I'm also not trying to bang her, bro. We're just playing music. Yeah, dude, <laughs> don't be weird, bro. <laughs> what? What is this? What? <laughs> is this? Don't worry about pot? it. I just want to make sure it stays safe. I'm not bringing this out to the car. God, you're being such a fucking dork. Put it in the car, dude. man. We gotta go. Or do you want to get turned to mush? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking turn you into mush here in a second. Yeah, fucking try it. Well, maybe I will. You know, you're being a fucking dick right now. Rand? Yeah? Am I being a dick? Timothy, actually, you're being a fucking asshole. Yeah. Don't you fucking Timothy me. (laughs) You're the one who went off to fucking college, lawyer school. Yeah, I had to. I did what I needed for my... (sighs) I did what was best for me, goddammit. Yeah. You know, getting away from I you. I bet you did. That was the best decision I ever made. Well, good for you, man. Fuck you. I don't want to just brush past him into the kitchen. And I want to grab like a little bit of food. I'm just going to grab a little food for the road. At this point, I will say that you guys can, whenever you'd like, really make it to the car and, and get all packed up and wrap whatever you'd like up. Yeah, you know? uh, I'd like to play both his parents to sleep and then tuck them in. <laughs> <laughs> that, can you okay okay okay, okay. Um, make me a just like just make me a roll on whatever your instrument is to see how well you do this to play them to sleep is that something you could do in real life man. a 98 oh man I mean I, I don't really I don't think I critical fail because my electric guitar is 75 but no you don't you don't critical fail right, I guess they don't fall asleep but it's pretty bad. Yeah, you uh, you pull out your electric guitar, and they're like, "Whoa, I'm not ready for that." That's like, oh, "That's a lot." Um, you got to <laughs> leave. You gotta go. You gotta go. Also, what the fuck were you doing in here with my wife? What were you doing here with my? And uh, <laughs> he, he like he like reaches for a fucking shotgun and chases you out of the house. <laughs> the effect is wearing off, dude. Let's go, Tinker Bells. So I see them come running down. He's getting chased with a shotgun. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you see your dad <laughs> chase him out of the house. <laughs> we gotta go, oh, we gotta shit. go, dude! I grab a couple of things into, into like, my bag, just, like, sandwich meat and stuff, and I start heading for the door. <laughs> he stepped out of it, bro, he stabbed, he's finally gonna kill me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Timothy, hey, Timothy, what the fuck? Where's the groceries? <laughs> see you, Bob! I'm gonna make the biggest choice ever, I'm gonna look down at the weed plant that's still on the ground and not pick Ooh. it up and run out to the car. <laughs> You're going to not pick it up or you I'm are? Not gonna, I'm not going to pick it up. You're not going to pick up the weed. Okay. All right. And as you don't pick up the weed plant, John says, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, you, you take it easy, Roland. You were always one of the good ones. <laughs> Have a good night, Mr. Rand. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you too. And he turns around. What in tarnation? <laughs> <laughs> and you all, you all uh, floor the gas and speed off. Where are you headed, Kian? Well, I'm going to drive to uh, um, Arizona into the middle of the desert. You're going to drive to Arizona? Uh, So that'll be about, let's see here. Uh, that'll be, we'll be going through, uh, Texas Arizona's first. so far away. Uh, yeah. so we'll probably be then, taking the, uh, the interstate I-10 probably all the way to, uh, yeah. Phoenix, yeah, Arizona, pretty good. baby. All right. So here's, We're Tuscan. um, we're just in the middle of the desert. <laughs> just going to ask a couple of questions. First question. Yeah. Uh, how fast are you taking off? 
I probably, you know, go zero to 60 and however fast the DeLorean can do, so. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Really okay. fast. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. By the time you've uh, left the uh, left the town of Galloway, most of the buildings behind you, you are fucking cruising down the dirt roads. You know that out this, this, this late and in this small town, there's not going to be any cops. You're cruising. And uh, what is everyone else doing while you guys drive? Just kind of kicking back, smoking one. Cool. Roland is just kind of like, he looks upset. Just annoyed yeah. at, at Ryan's behavior. We get to I don't uh we get to sixty miles an hour in about eight point eight seconds. <laughs> All wow. right. An impressive eight I'm assuming that's where eighty eight miles an hour came from too. Oh, that's good. And then we go eighty eight miles an hour and then we go back in time and then <laughs> Yeah, no, uh no. Well, something happens. Can everyone roll me a spot hidden check? That's a extreme success, I'm pretty sure. You got an extreme success on spot hidden? Oh, uh, no, wait. Uh, you know, I'll use four luck points to make it extreme. Fuck it. Got a 97. My spot hidden is a 25. All right, you're high as fuck. <laughs> you don't see anything. <laughs> I failed. Roland, you got an extreme success? Yes, I used four luck points for it. Where are you sitting in the car? Yeah, so I'm like on the, I'm in the back right seat, kind of looking out. You see, on an extreme success, you're going to see quite a few things here. The first thing you see is there's a small stream leaching off the bayou next to this road. You see that in about 200 feet, the stream stops and the other side is dry. You follow this sort of weird line cutting this thing in half and you see that there's a fallen tree on the road cut in half as well. And as you look at this tree... You see the headlights of your car reflecting back at you. You see a stream cut in half, and you see a tree cut in half at the exact same spot that is. And it's like on the road, like in front of us? It is on the road in front of you, and on an extreme success, uh, you guys were going to have to find this out some way or another, but there is a body cut in half as well, not by the tree, but next to it. We are in the front seat, probably like fucking shouting the song really loud. (laughs) Another one, Bison, Josh! <laughs> and another one! Get and in. And what, dude? What the fuck? Look and find in the road! I looked, I mean, is it in front of me? Do I see it? Or? Dude, you just see your drive, you just see the like tree cut in half. That's all you see. You just see like two halves of a tree. It's like blocking the road. Uh it's you could go around it. Dude, fuck it, it's just a tree, man. I'll swerve it. I swerve it. You it was a body man. too! A, a what? That body! Bro, the shrooms are still wearing off, man! <laughs> you said they were fake! Can make me a drive auto check. Yeah, I actually am very bad at driving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any skill at driving. And that's why I've been explaining it, how terrible I am at driving. Yeah! That's a fail, obviously, because why would I pass? <laughs> oh, boy. I had, I, had a, I had 20% driving skill, like the let normal me look one. Up, uh, let me look up if the DeLorean has airbags. It should. Yeah, all right. So, um, you effectively, uh, you clip the tree very fucking fortunately. So you try to swerve the tree and instead you end up hitting it with the front bumper of the car and spinning around, um, sort of like into a ditch. And that is good because now you're hitting a wall at 20 to 30 miles an hour instead of 60 because the back of your car fully gets crushed against something that you cannot see and your car immediately catches on fire from behind uh, and you see as this flame is like reflecting and kind of dissipating against this very, very strange shimmering field of something and I need everyone to make sanity rolls but also you just got a car crash and we'll handle that in a second. I passed. Nice. I failed. I passed my sanity. Okay. I feel like this is going to fail a lot of sanity rolls. Dude, um, it's, so... it's now 26. There's no like... You're not ever yeah. going to pass so, it for the rest of the um, thing. Yeah, you're going to go insane. You, this, uh, car accidents uh, uh, pretty, pretty ouchy. Here's what I'm going to do. Actually, sometimes you don't get hurt in car accidents, so maybe we no, roll like dexterity. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, what is everyone's max HP? Fourteen. Mine's eleven. Thirteen. Okay. I have glazed, dude. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna roll a d10. Ugh. Oh fuck! I rolled a nine. Is that how much we're taking? Everyone takes nine damage as this car 
crushes in on itself and there is like an immediate fire and the just sheer collision the airbags go but not fast enough and you feel as your bodies are whipped around this vehicle every which way into the walls uh, and into the ceiling and who is wearing a seatbelt? I was, for sure. I wouldn't have been, probably. I wear a seatbelt. I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay, so Timothy goes flying out um, <laughs> of, the side, of the side windshield and into the stream, and you guys are now basically, like, sitting there, ears ringing with tunnel vision as you look up and see this shimmering wall reflecting the fire in front of you. And who failed the sanity roll again? Me. Just him. Okay, you're not going to take that much sanity. You're just going to take a d4 of sanity. I got a four. Oh my god, yeah, you take four sanity damage as you see something that should not be here. And also isn't, but it stopped you. All right, so we're all about to die. Yeah, I need everyone to do one more thing. So in Call of Cthulhu, when you take damage greater or equal to half of your full hit points in a single blow... That we did. You, everyone needs to make a con roll. I fail, I think. I pass. I'll use seven more luck points to succeed. So Roland, after shouting this out, uh, is whipped against the front, basically seat of the car, uh, and lashed around. And when you guys stop moving, he is unconscious. Rand, you are somehow <laughs> thrown out of the windshield quickly enough that you are still conscious. You just kind of see in your blurry vision the rest of this fire. And... Kian, what is the lucky thing that happens that prevents you from losing consciousness? Oh, I mean... <sighs> my guitar, dude. I've always got it nearby. Nice. Yeah, your guitar somehow knocks you out of the way of the... Of it's like a shield, pretty much. Head. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the guitar shields you, and instead of, like, um... Yeah, instead of nailing your head against something, you just go through the hole in the guitar or something. My roads! Uh, fuck! My roads! What do you all do? Damn it! My roads! Uh, I'd be unconscious. You were unconscious. Fuck, dude! <laughs> oh, fuck! <coughs> Tom, Tom Morello gave me this. <sighs> fuck! What do I see in the... in the water? In the water, you now see that you're right next to it and the fire is illuminating it. You see that it looks like the stream has backed up almost, like it's uh, kind of running over and the other side of it, where ordinarily it would just keep flowing, is uh, low and pretty dry. It's still damp, but uh, one side, it just looks like it's been cut in half by a, a wall. All right. Mm, uh, shit, man. Uh, yo, rolling. Yo, rolling. You in there, dude? I'm gonna kick the butterfly door open. I'm going to try and get uh, Roland out. I'm going to say to get him out, just go ahead and make me a strength check. Uh, see how, you know, dragging him out, basically. No, I fail. Hey, what? what is your strength? Holy shit. I don't have high strength. My strength is 30. Oh. You managed to unbuckle the, uh, like, seat belt and kind of start to pull him out of the car, but he is, like, the door is pretty crushed, so it's kind of hard to do that. You can't force it open. I get up from the ground and I'm kind of stumbling around the ringing in my ears and I'll, I'll stumble towards the car. Guys! Rand! Rand, dude! <sighs> help me out here, man. He's stuck. Kid! Oh, He's stuck shit. in there, dude. Shit. Help me out. <coughs> Come on, man. I'll stumble over and I'll go to try and pull him as well. Okay. Go ahead and roll with a extra die for advantage since you guys are both doing this. Shit, dude. You gotta help me. You know I'm not the strongest one, man. He's stuck in there. So go ahead. roll with Strength advantage? Strength check with advantage. Yep. Or I guess with an extra die or whatever they call it in Call of Cthulhu. Um, so I got uh, my best roll was a 40. My strength is a 45. I nice. passed just barely. Okay, that's all you need is a pass. Um, you drag him away from the car uh, and you guys all get far away enough as the whole thing just explodes <laughs> into a fireball. <laughs> Shit, dude. Is, that was the last DeLorean they were selling, man. <laughs> They're not going to make him, him anymore. Fuck, I bro. fall down to the ground. Oh my god. Oh. The fuck was that, man? Dude, I don't know. Do you see anything that we could have hit, bro? It's just fucking nothing, man. It's fucking bitching, dude. Most. Not. I mean, not bitching. Fuck, dude. Oh. Oh, hey. No. Rolling, come on. Try and wake him up. Wake, wake up. him up. Hey, dude. 
Come on, man. Hey. Hey. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so if someone wants to try and make a first aid check uh, to. I will try. That is a 29. I have a 30 in first aid. Oh, so nice. Oh, just damn. Okay. Yeah. Rolling. Uh, restore one hit point and you Ow. come to as the bleeding stops. Hey. Hey, man. <coughs> oh. I mean, I'm gonna, can I do some first aid to myself, just like wrapping around? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and try. My uh, my my kimono, just <laughs> tear some of it off. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, you've got some pretty deep cuts on your body. Ooh, that is actually that's an extreme success. An extreme success. Oh my god. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna let you roll a uh, an extreme success. Blah, 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 blah. Roll a d4 and add one. That's how much you gain back. Damn. So Damn. instead of one, you get to roll a d4. Okay, cool. So I you got get three, back. three hit points back. <sighs> I'm still not looking good, dude. None of us are. Roland <laughs> kind of stand- coughs and like <clears throat> he stands up, and uh, he's gonna sort of limp to this this kind of shimmering wall that you said is there, and kind of yes. like put one of his hands on it. One of them is very close to his, his stomach still because he's hurt, mm-hmm. and just see like what happens, like if he if okay. he can pass through it or. You put your hand up to the wall, and at first it feels like kind of pushing against a trampoline, except the trampoline is warm, and sort of like putting two fingers up to someone's neck. You feel a pulse in it that is not human, but still rhythmic. I put my hand back. Yeah, so it's basically a, a warm, pulsing, gross force field. I lay down on my back in the in the fucking grass. Oh, we're still on the road, right? <laughs> You're still on the road. Okay. Wait, we're on the road? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was all kind of like off the side of the road, right? Like in the road almost. How far did we make it before we hit this wall? Uh, yeah, I mean, so you essentially what happened was you rode up right on the um, tree that was cut in half um, by this wall that had clearly fallen and earlier. And the body was cut in half by the wall as well. Yeah, and the body was cut in half as well. And you clipped the tree and basically spun off into a ditch. And uh, then the car hit the wall. So you're not actually on the road right now. You're yeah, like I off figured of we're it. in the ditch. Yeah, you're in the ditch. So basically by uh, by the woods. Ditch has grass, land and grass. Yeah. So it uh, it like spun around and the back of it crushed against the force field, the yes. wall of force. Okay, <laughs> dude, that sucked. <laughs> this place fucking sucks. Yeah, why didn't you just stay where you fucking were? Shut the fuck up, Brandon. <laughs> oh man, how are we gonna get to Arizona, dude? <laughs> I don't know. You don't have any rock star tricks you can pull out? I'm, a, I'm not a magician, you fucking dickwad. I'm not David Blaine, dude. I just I play with Aerosmith no. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is the plants okay? Fortunately, dude, there's no plants in my fucking car. What? What? Only was supposed to bring the fucking... Oh, fucker. I bet you're happy oh. you didn't now, huh, dude? If I brought if I brought that plant, it would have been burned up in that car. I was so gonna make happy. you. I was gonna make you all roll con saves or get super <laughs> fucking high. If this happened. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna push myself up off the ground. <laughs> I think we might have asked, but how far did we get away from Galloway before this happened? You far enough drove, to start jamming, right? It was like a few minutes out of town. Damn, all right. But you were driving at 60 miles an hour for a few minutes, so, I mean... A couple right. miles. Yeah, at least a few yeah. miles. Yeah, you're, yeah I, I'll just say, you know, broad strokes a few miles. Okay, well... You know what? For dramatic effect, you see the back of the Welcome to Galloway sign. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You, yeah, you see a sign right beyond the force field that says you are now leaving Galloway. I will walk up to Key and pull out a cigarette for myself and one for him. I actually walk over to the big ball of fire and like, let it light my yeah, cigarette. Yeah, I, w- I wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> That's so fucking awesome. <laughs> okay, six. All right. Um, so, uh, give me what the one fuck of those. just happened? Sure. I, I hand him mine, and I'll spark yeah. up another one. <laughs> Any ideas? Dude, this is some otherworldly shit, man. That's that's magic right there, dude. 
And I'm not even Starting high, to feel bro. Your, your ritual sacrifice thing might hold some weight. I walk up to it. I want to roll a cult and see what's if I would know anything about a force field that pulses and what are is you? Warm. What are you basically doing? I'm I'm putting I'm touching it and like he's studying. And like, are you trying to just like remember or so? Or yeah, what? remember anything from from the books I would have read or the conversations I would have had with uh, with Rat uh, learning? Like, just just in my high. Obsession with the occult. I think it's just like, is this in my occult knowledge? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead and roll a cult. Yeah. Um, also taking note of the tree that is cut in half. The body. In the body. And the, <laughs> and, the, and the body. 44, that's a pass. You, with that occult knowledge and pass, you put your hands up to this wall and you start to feel it beat again and beat and you feel it in your hands and in your arms and in your head and even behind your eyes. And the books you have read specifically pertaining to rituals, you would know that rituals always need a lot of preparation. And one of those things is sometimes you remember seeing circles, like ritual circles. It's always taking place inside a circle. Hmm. Okay. Yep. That's what you get. This thing is beating like a heart, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> so, all right. Uh, I guess leaving Galloway's not an option. I put my sunglasses back on. They're kind of like <laughs> busted a little. <laughs> okay. So where do we go? Can everyone make me a listen roll? Oh my god, I got critical success. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god, you got a critical success? Okay, yeah. what did everyone else get? Fail. I got a just pass. All right, sick. So um, both of you guys, uh, Timothy and Roland, would hear some sort of weird buzzing coming from uh, deeper into the swamp on the side uh, of the road that you guys have kind of been knocked into. Roland. Oh boy. On a critical success, you hear a buzzing that sounds like cicadas. Um, and you close your eyes and focus in on that sound. And you can tell that at first it sounds like cicadas and you think to yourself, those are not in season here. And you hear that it is not in fact a buzzing, but a very quick series of distinguishable kind of like clicking sounds, which I believe, did you also listen to, you would know that you heard this before. Uh, 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 Near rat. Coming from Richie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you hear clicking sounds. I actually heard this before. It was me that made oh, this listen well? roll. No, I, this is what I heard when I heard it. I'm the one that heard it from rat. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, let's just say the information has, would it be fair to say, say that you guys have like talked to each other about this, about what you saw or no? Mm, I, didn't, I don't even think I'd say so. No. Okay, cool. Then in that case, you just hear a clicking sound. Yeah, um, we, we would know, but you don't. Um, you hear clicking sounds that sound like they're coming from different points in the swamp. And you also hear what sounds like um, distinguishably squelching, but footsteps. There are people in the swamp moving. I don't know where we can go. Maybe. Uh, Wait, do you, do you hear that? What? Oh, shit. It's, it's, it sounds like shit. It's a kid. No, that's it's like a clicking, a weird clicking. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think there's people in the swamp. Come on, come on. I want to pull him and I want to go like run and hide okay. somewhere. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess I'll just sit here. <laughs> I love dude. that you just have straight up Last of Us vision. <laughs> I want to grab him as well. Grab Kian okay. as well. All right, so you're grabbing them all and you're running off where? Let's head back to the road, bro. Probably back to, uh, I'd say back to the road, but I'd want to hide a little bit. Like, I'd want to stay stealthy and try and not be Maybe we watch, watch, like, from afar stealthily. Yeah, and buy that's, the, that's oh, my yeah. idea. Yeah, 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 you guys can absolutely do that. By why the fire everyone, car? Because uh, I assume, why like, doesn't every- it's, it gets, yeah. yeah. So if you hide by the fire car, you're going to have disadvantage because you buy a giant yeah. Yeah. So this is what, I, what I'm saying is, like, we hide far enough but like where we can keep eyesight on the fire car because i imagine like this is can this is drawing attention a big fire pretty much just hide in the woods yeah 
Okay, yeah, cool. but where we can see you, like whoever approaches the fire car, that's what we're kind of looking for. Well, since you're hiding close by the fire car, I'm going to give you guys all advantage on this just because if you were coming up on something very bright and someone was hiding in like a dark bush nearby, yeah, yeah it'd be um, harder to see. So everyone roll stealth with an advantage die. I am going to use one luck point to make it an extreme success. Holy shit. Okay. I'm going to use two luck points to make it a regular success because I failed. Okay. But yeah. Ooh, I got, a, oh. I got an extreme success without any Holy luck points. Holy fuck, you guys popped off. Okay. Um. My first roll was a hard success and the second roll was an extreme success. My first roll was a fail, actually. I get it. And I rolled a nine. Well, you guys fucking jump into the bushes. We are really good at this, bro. This is our hooligan shit. You you are. You all like pile up. You all freaking pile up uh, and everything. And you're all looking through different branches. <laughs> Just like the old days, guys. <laughs> Remember when we used to steal shit? And then Roland became a lawyer, dude. It's funny. <laughs> dude, come on. Dork. <laughs> totally. Assholes. What the fuck is going on over there? None of these people have a chance at spotting you guys, but you see as first one, then two, then three, then four, then five people walk out of the swamp and onto the road and you hear this sort of squelching of their clothes against the pavement and you see as they clock the car they sort of look around for a second scanning and you feel their eyes pass over you once and then twice you rolled so fucking good <laughs> <laughs> and then they look over and they see the body that has been cut in half uh, and at any point here, you can try and do something, by the way, um, right? It, 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 I will say if you try to distinguish like what they look like, uh, you're going to need to roll. I would like to distinguish what oh, they look like. that was the goal, yeah. And I also want to know if any of them maybe look like officer dudes. Mm-hmm. Good question. Okay, everyone roll spot hidden. And I'm going to say these guys are coming within the light of the car. So fuck it. You get a fucking another advantage die, bro. Oh, awesome. Huge. Massive. Oh, uh, well, I got a 55. That's a regular ooh, success. Ooh, Holy fuck, ooh, dude. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to use a luck point again, and I'm going to make it a... The, what's the second success? A, a hard success. Yeah. Okay. I, I rolled hard success naturally. Bro. Okay, so... Dude, why uh, everyone you just a... one up in me, dog? Sorry, like, I literally <laughs> won away. Because I'm a fucking like, rock star, away. man. Wait, so everyone got hard successes? No, I got a regular success. Okay, let me roll something. I'm not going to tell you what it is real quick. <laughs> My license plate fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, you just you hear one of them. Fucking hard, huh? <laughs> Anyone? That's funny, dude. There's, okay, there's that. What the fuck are there's you that. for? Yeah, who cares, oh my man. god. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna die. We're dead. We're fucking dead, man. We're dead. So, you see that oh, no. with those fucking rolls, with those fucking rolls, the person that says fucking hard is, in fact, the officer that you had seen earlier. It is Officer Dudes. And oh, you shit. see as Officer Dudes <sighs> picks up one half of the body that cut he clearly clocked it like and and did not have you know he was like oh he he picks it up and drags it from where he came from that's what you see first the second face you see as they move around uh towards the other half of the body which is on the other side of the field kian you recognize your high school ex-girlfriend rebecca what? <laughs> and no, you recognize dude. as she walks in front of the illuminating fire that clearly illuminates her face. And she says, can't forget this. And walks through the field, grabs the legs, and drags them into the swamp. Rebecca. Dude. Final uh, uh, face. You see the face of Richie Rat Sanders. Dude, what? what? No, dude. Looking around before walking back. And all of you see the person they are walking towards in the swamp, and all of you recognize her as a chubby girl that looks to be about 13 years old with an oversized Star Trek t-shirt and glasses. No. Oh, no. And you all recognize Rachel Rand.
Oh shit. Oh. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> this is most heinous, dude. That's fucking Becky, bro. Oh, oh that's that's your no, sister. No, that's your they're... sister, Ren. Fuck, we gotta go, guys. We gotta get the fuck out of here, Wait, man. Hold on, hold on. Not yet. <laughs> she looks exactly the fucking same. And that is where we're gonna end the session for today. Woo! Oh man. Damn, oh, bro. Man. <laughs> Everyone that's important to us, man. And speaking of important things, go over to patreon.com slash just roll with it right now to hear Blood in the Bayou episode two when it goes up on October 17th. <laughs> <laughs>